We flew all the way from Ireland to Australia, bought a van and converted it in 30 days with the ultimate goal to take this tiny van into the heart of the Australian outback. And we just spent an entire month enduring the most extreme conditions we could ever imagine. Temperatures in the mid 40s. Half of Australia is currently facing extreme heat wave conditions. You've got an actual fire? That is so scary. Everything is hot. This is grim. This is grim. I'm just trying to get my body temp down. It's just so hot. Whose idea was this? I know, I know. That was pretty brutal. I've never experienced anything like this. A road train just came past. It ripped their solar panel clean off the roof. It was very scary. Bloody hell. So I'm going to be honest, this road's a bit mother effing horrific. This is so unenjoyable. All amenities are locked. So it's shot out of season. This is the first time we're going to have to dig into our petrol rations. The only thing I can think about right now is that I need drinking water. Our Blue Yetis run out, so we now have no par. I'm at an all time low right now. We've no signal, we've no way to look up shops, we've no nothing. But this has been the adventure of a lifetime. Didn't know if we wouldn't make it. Guys, this is just an incredible experience. This is incredible. Can you look at this? Never did I think I would be here. Camels, Loads camels, 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 camels. camels. Something has made it all hard then. I think this is one of my favorite spots in Australia so far. Oh my goodness, we went so sideways. Oh my goodness, we went so sideways. What are we doing? Oh my goodness. I had no idea what I was getting us into. So we have combined our entire Outback adventure into one big video. So if you're interested in van life, traveling the Outback, living in a tiny space, surviving extreme conditions, or even just watching us suffer, this is a video for you. So let's go. Good morning, guys. We have made our way north of Adelaide to probably the last campground before we head into the outback. And I know what you're probably wondering, what is that in your head? I'm trying to blend in with the locals, man. You know, <laughs> give me a chance. I'm sorry, guys. You're just gonna have to deal with our hats. We're trying to protect ourselves. Yeah. Even Keely's got one. Yeah. I wanted to get Keely one of those safety ones because she needs it. But at least this keeps my my bun on display. Mm. So this is another free campground. It's a 10 kilometer track on a corrugated road down here. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty gnarly. Road's not your friend. This corrugated road, I, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. I've decided that I do not like corrugated roads. It is so worth it. There's a creek beside us that we've been taking full advantage of. And there's also a guy that owns this land called Doug. It seems like he's a local celebrity or something. You grew up to that size though. Wow. Just something. Well, this is when I used to dance with him. People used to get certificates on Thanks so much, Doug. That was really that was Good to meet you. Yeah, if you ever come down here, he will happily let you watch him feed the wild kangaroos. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool experience. Yes, I can see you. But guys, enough of that because we have a date with Alice Springs. <laughs> Alice? <laughs> oh, and and on the drive down here yesterday, we seen wild emus. I see wild emus up ahead. Giant wild emus. Giant wild emus. Giant wild emus. Yeah, giant. Giant. Yeah. Hopefully we see some wildlife on the road back out. Now we know there's wild kangaroos and wild emus in the area. Billy, oh my goodness. Guys, I'm sorry. But I haven't had a mirror to look at myself in. This is the first time I've seen this hat and the f this is the first time I've seen this hat. Why did he let me buy this hat? <laughs> Keely. Am I Mary Poppins? What the hell is this? We sat in Kemor for <laughs> 20 minutes just letting Keely try on hats. And this was the best of a bad bunch. Guys, not only am I not a fan of this type of hat, but this type of hat is not a fan of me. <laughs> oh Lord. We I'm gotta go. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to deal with this. 
considering the van just started there. I accidentally, because I had tuition this morning at 4 a.m., left that light on for two hours while I had tuition, and I've been afraid all morning this van wouldn't turn on. So I'm happy we still have battery. Are you serious? <laughs> I All morning, that's been like on me, like if this van doesn't start, he's gonna kill me. So I'm very happy right now. Yay, let's go! <laughs> oh my goodness, you're a hazard. <laughs> Also have some exciting news to tell you, but I'll wait till we get off this corrugated road. It goes along the lines of Philly gives in the peer pressure. <laughs> Just look at that view. Oh my goodness, this is spectacular. It's kind of like like a different planet. Do you know what I mean? Quite Martian-y. This is nuts. What are we doing? The corrugation on the road really takes you off guard. There's times when it looks really bad and it's fine, and then it, there's times where it looks like there's nothing on the road, and you're like, <laughs> I suppose that's why I have my cowboy hat, because I'm taming this beast. Oh my goodness. On the corrugated roads. <laughs> and this is only a sign of things to come. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot that it melted the screen protector on my phone. <laughs> I don't know if people can see that. What is that about? It gives the forecast to be 42 degrees today. This is anticipated to be a mad heat wave and the map looks like it's the darkest red where we're going. But apparently it's only getting hotter. <laughs> it's only getting hotter. <laughs> Freedom is in sight. Guys, we're almost back on the main road. This is it. This is it. Whoa. Whoa. We did it! Oh yes, tarmac feels good. It feels so good. I can go over 20 kilometers an hour. <laughs> So we just stopped off at Coles because we have to get food and water for us because we have to keep our bodies hydrated and fueled. But we also have to keep Dingo hydrated and fueled. So we've actually spent the morning, we topped up the oil, we topped up the coolant, and made sure everything was good because we can't break down. And then we spill coolant all over the floor. And guys, see when something goes wrong in like a tiny space, it just is amplified so much. All right, we made a list. Time to go get some food. Oh. One more thing, this is going to be the first time in, I'm in public with this, so I'm going to go and see if they accept me as one of their own. <laughs> How long do we think we're going away for? Months? <laughs> Guys, you know that we need to have a big budget to make sure Keely stays fully hydrated, fully fueled. We can't have her going hungry, ever. Okay, let's just start with putting it in, and then we'll figure out where it's going to live permanently like later. Guys, I stood out in the sun for like five minutes and my shoulders are burnt. Couldn't resist ourselves to more vegan pancakes. Mm. All right, so our plan now is to get some LPG while we still can, and then go to a park up somewhere where we can organize this van. Give me those wee pink shoulders. Are the pink, are the pink guys? He didn't tell me the sun cream. Oh, slippery. My Irish skin. Also guys, the lady in Coles was very lovely and <laughs> laughed when we told her we were going to Alice Springs. She was like, it gets hotter the more you go north. And we were like, yeah, I know. She's like, it's meant to be even hotter tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, I know. But it's okay because nobody mentioned my hat. So I've been accepted. <laughs> oh guys, what the hell are we doing? Right, I need breakfast. <laughs> Let's get the park up. We got this. 
<laughs> I don't know why, it's just so funny. Guys, let me know, what do you think? Does he look handsome? Handsome or hillbilly? Yeah, stretch that arm. <laughs> So we got absolutely everything we needed on our list. The last thing is indeed, I need a mosquito net, guys, because you've seen what the flies are like, and apparently they're even worse. Picture this. Picture like us parked near a tree, and then you just mount your little mosquito net and just sit under it I'm, with your laptop. I think I'm gonna look sick. <laughs> <laughs> you look like something. <laughs> I also did ask people did they think you were a handsome or a hillbilly, so I'm excited to see the comments. I'm a handsome billy. <laughs> hillbilly. Hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we've stopped off at a botanical garden. Apparently it's an arid botanical garden, it's kind of weird, it's like is it just going to be sand and, and shrubs? <laughs> Trying to stock up the van for going on a road trip is pretty hard because like in a small van it's cool, but you just don't have as much space as you do in bigger vans. Oh dear goodness, I, I don't even know what's going on over here. Just don't look at it, just don't look at it. Alright, we just got some food. Thankfully, there's a little bit of cloud cover which gives us a little bit of respite from the sun. So we're going to go stretch our bodies. You know how it is, old age man, these joints. Queen. What is going on here? Like these were also clean. These were just out of the wash. This is what living in the desert does. You've kind of like color coordinated as well. You're like some little ranger girl. Oh, Billy, do you know what I look like? I literally, guys, I don't care how much of a dork this shows me. I look like one of those girls in a Pokemon game where the little exclamation mark comes up, and I'm like, I want to battle. I catch bugs. That's what I look like. No, <laughs> I don't care. I'm not ashamed of the fact that I love Pokemon. Okay. Bye, little dingo. Stay safe. Check it out, Keely. Yeah. That's what I like to say. That's my favorite type of entry. <laughs> oh, Billy, there's snakes. Ooh. Guys, I'll be honest with you, right? Looking around, I'm like, what is there like six different types of bush or something? Maybe a tree? There's about 90 different types of bush around me. This is so diverse and I don't realize because it's all just kind of beige. <laughs> this is just what's called the bush. Is this literally why it's called the Australian bush? Because it's just full of bushes? Okay, fun. I don't know why I thought it was called the bush, but there's a lot of bushes. You enjoying yourself? <laughs> I'm really hoping I'll remember some of their names. I'm really trying. A plum bush. I don't know why it's called that. That's a spring. Oh, I forgot already. Spring pod. My buns fell out. I'll remember that one. Pearl blue bush. She's something else, isn't she? <laughs> it is actually quite cool. It shows you a little map of Australia as well and shows you where these plants grow natively. There's two kangaroos, two tiny kangaroos right there. Hey buddy. He's looking at me guys, there's another kangaroo who's a different colour and he's looking at me. He wants to be my friend because I'm wearing such a cool hat. You got to tell he's running away actually. All right, Tim, we're back at the van. Our camera overheated, so that's why we're just back here. But if you're looking to come and see a nice botanical garden, then what are you waiting for? Pick your flights. <laughs> yes, guys, not only did it have all the cool plants, and you could learn a bit about bush foraging type plants you can eat and use and stuff. I love a bit of bush foraging. But guys, I had no idea we would experience wild kangaroos. Yeah, that was awesome. And you know what? It doesn't grow old. It doesn't. And we found out from Doug that kangaroos have different fur patterns to match the plants that are like native to their region. So it was cute to see two different types of ones and then a mummy and a baby. It was like just the best. It was very cool. I'm excited to see some more. But also the fact that those kangaroos are out means it must be getting dusk time. Even though the, the sun is sky in the... Are you alright there? Guys, look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you the know what? The sun is sky in the high. The sky is the sun. Okay, bye. <laughs> Oh my word, guys, Ayers Rock is a 13-hour drive. 
<laughs> and we need to see what we thought was our rock. So yeah, we thought that was our rock, and that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> That's like the most Irish thing ever. Oh, God, he blesses. We've got a lot of driving to do. So we've only been driving for about 20 minutes and we had to pull over. Guys, the landscape has changed so much, so quickly. It's really starting to, to dawn on us what we're doing. Okay guys, so we have pulled off at what is meant to be a viewpoint because there is a salt lake and we just pulled in and one, not only is it absolutely stunning, but two, the second we stepped out of this van, <laughs> did I realise how good our aircon is? <laughs> We're cruising along, I'm like, I don't know what people are talking about, this is like a great temperature. Opened the door, it was literally like stepping into an oven, like I'm cooking like a friggin' pizza right now. But where do you see this for you guys? Look at that. It feels like we've driven onto Mars. This landscape has just changed so drastically, so quickly. It's just so quiet. Okay, so it's just turned seven o'clock, which means the sun is due to set at half seven. Thankfully, the place that we're looking to stay tonight is only 20 kilometers away, so we'll be able to hit that before it gets too dark. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. Battery low, battery low, battery, battery, low. battery, battery low. <laughs> Kaylee has been calling ahead to make sure that their LPG hoses have worked because we went to a town like a few days ago and there's three LPG stations and we were sure that we would get LPG there and all three stations were out of order. It works. Man, seeing the sunset behind me makes me so excited to be in the middle of nowhere. This is the spot that we're staying tonight. It's called Spud's Roadhouse and it's just like what it says in the tin. It's just, there's a, there's a fly crawling over the lens. Sorry guys. Um, oh my word, they're so gross. Uh, it went inside my mouth while I was talking. <laughs> we need to get inside this van. Oh my goodness. But yeah, it's a free campground, I suppose. Uh, and it's pretty clean, loads of space. So I'm happy that this is our first stop. So we're gonna get a good night's sleep, hopefully, fingers crossed. And we'll see you guys in the morning. Love you. Sleep tight. Guys, something's wrong. There's flies everywhere. This is grim. This is grim. And not only the flies, I feel like ugh, there's about 70 on your hand. I know. On the camera, they're all over the camera. They're trying to get into my mouth. Um, is this what it feels like to be a cow's butthole? <laughs> it was so hot last night, guys. Like I was literally in a pool of my own sweat. It was. It was pretty grim. We had yeah. the, our little Eva puller on that was telling us it was 36 degrees in the van. But it was pumping out 21 degrees, so. Yeah, it all felt onto good. you. Your body was like a big wall keeping me from all the cool breeze. I mean, I slept great. Yeah, it was a tad warm, but. <laughs> anyway, guys, we've been up, we've had a coffee. I've done a workout. Who I've, am I? I've had breakfast. Yeah, we've had breakfast, and now. As you've seen last night, we parked up at Spud's Roadhouse. We're gonna go in, we're gonna grab a coffee, we're gonna check out the vibes, and it's mainly to get away from the flies. Yeah, let's go. Maybe this is why cows have tails. To swat them. So I need a tail in the middle of my forehead just to like swoop around. <laughs> let's get a coffee. Are you, are you mama birding a fly? <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
Oh, there's, there's another fly. He went on my eyeball. Anyway, oh, Philly. I might have just, I might have just smushed him a wee bit. Am I allowed to be in this? Oh, sorry, hi. Anyway, <laughs> these flies. We're leaving Spud's Roadhouse now, and it was very nice to experience it. And it felt like we're in a movie set. Yeah, it did, it was cool. And we have a couple of these pinpointed along this trip, because one, they're free campgrounds, but two, you get a nice hot coffee, you get chatting to someone. Really, I'm not a fan of this fly situation. One thing I, I do to try and like remedy the situation is pretend they're my friends, give no. them all names, and no. then it's just like you're hanging out. No. It's like, hey, Fred. No. Also, guys, when we were eating breakfast this morning and I was eating flies and having a mental breakdown, I wanted to put out the mosquito net and Philly said no. Apparently, us two sitting here at a picnic table with the mosquito net draped around us might have looked a bit ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> all right, so when we got here last night, we did fill up with LPG, but the van was super hot after driving all day, so now that it's cold, I'm gonna try and fill up and just squeeze a, like a couple more liters into it. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. All right, so we managed to fit another two liters in. <laughs> You're right, every liter counts. <laughs> and I think from this point onwards, there's one just driving past. Road train! Yeah, we're gonna start seeing less and less regular cars and more and more just road trains, which for people who don't know are basically lorries with loads of lorries attached to them. Trailers? Yeah. Let's go. Guys, our plan is to get to Cooper PD, which is just under four hours away from here. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's too much to see along the way, but we'll no, try. There, there is. There's one place I want to go on the way right now. We'll go now. A place called Wimmera. We found out from Doug. It's apparently like space race capital of Australia. And uh, I want to go see if we can see a spaceship. A spaceship? A rocket. An alien. <sighs> Guys, my phone switched itself off due to high temperature. <laughs> That's how hot it is. It's it's due to be 44 degrees today. So we're gonna have to take necessary steps to keep ourselves cool. We got this. Rockets. That was a rocket. I just seen it. It's a fake one, but it was a rocket. Is this an airplane? This is, a, this is a place with an actual rocket. That's like, that's a rocket. Okay, we'll, we'll get out and get shots, but I'll give you some brief info here, guys. So, Woomera isn't a town, this was a base and they only just opened it I think in the 80s or something that people are now allowed in here because it's all basically become a tourism thing. It's like a museum. Guys there's a lot of rockets around, I'm excited to get out and go look at them. Alright guys we have to be quick because it is getting very hot so we don't want to get boiled alive. Yeah. So I feel like we're looking really touristy right now. <laughs> nice shirt. Also, I will say another fact is apparently Australia was up there leading the space race. I'm going to be honest, Australians, in school, we learned that it was basically America versus Russia and the UK were all involved. They didn't tell us about you. So I'm really sorry, but I'm letting the whole world know right now. Australia was leading in the space race. Let it be known. Come on, Aussies. Only now, they're all just here for us to come and look at. <laughs> Pretty cool. Do you think that's a missile? It looks like, like it. Like a missile, like a bomb? Like that's not a rocket, that thing looks like he's made for death. Not sure I like him. It's time to get back in the van, guys, it's too hot. It's too hot. It is so hot, we have to limit our time outside. So guys, I just want to put on some deodorant because you know it's really hot and it had melted. Completely melted. Everything's melting. I've never experienced anything like this. No. So I think the, the best thing to do today is just to drive to Cooper PD and keep the SE blasting. Yeah, for sure. Tomorrow is due to be the hottest day of this heat wave, but then the day after it's breaking and it's, the, the temperature's pretty much halving. It's going from 47 degrees down to like 20 mm -hmm. and a bit of rain and stuff. So we're just gonna make sure that we are in sensible places. Mm -hmm. Maybe the center of Australia probably isn't the most sensible place. <laughs> <laughs> now off to Cooper PD, four hours of driving. Yay! Four hours of aircon! <laughs> okay guys, forget any question I've ever asked you before, whether or not you've ever commented on one of our videos. Sign in to comment right now for this, okay? Real or fake? I need to know. Do you think the moon landing was real or fake? I don't think we want to open that kind of words. I, I just, I don't, that's what I'm saying. No one needs to talk about their opinion. We don't need to defend ourselves. Just let me know right now for fun so we can get a general consensus of the population Real moon landing fake down below. Let us know. I'm open to discussion, you know? It's a bit too elaborate to be fake. Is it? <laughs> <laughs>
a road train just came past and the speed that it was going it ripped their solar panel clean off the roof yeah people told us like if they're going really fast to hold on and like joked i thought it was a joke about the fact that they can like blow out your windows i literally my stomach is turning i feel sick in my heart that shook our whole i am actually like a little bit in shock i'm in shock do we need to like run out and get it before that one runs over it i'm going I, i'm going go 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 be safe There's another one somewhere. They're both off. They're both off. There's nothing on our roof anymore. I have actually got no words because. So, cables are snapped. Yeah. yeah so I'm just gonna disconnect, disconnect them from the power bank. I think. Okay. Um, we just need to put these in. Yeah, we'll just get them in, get the Cooper PD, and we'll figure it out there. Yeah, that was scary, Philly. Very scary. That was very scary. Remember he told us that when you're coming past when you should have both your windows down a bit? Because it can shatter your windows. That's scary. Guys, like, I honestly... I didn't realise. I'm actually... I, once I turn this camera off, I'm probably going to cry. I did not realise the force that would check our van with. anybody's guess guys I know we're semi laughing now but that was probably the most depressing drive here we both just sat in silence like yeah we've driven about an hour and every road train like even thinking about it now I feel like I'm gonna cry again every road train that goes by like my heart's like I'm actually a bit scared of them I think it was a combination of us being on that massive flat plane and there was like really like hard gusts of wind mm -hmm. and then with the, the pressure of the gust of wind coming from the road train as well just like underneath a roof rack on top of the van and just went poof. That was scary guys, that was scary. You live and learn, thankfully we do live. Yeah, that's the main thing man, we're safe, that's all that matters Philly, that's literally all that matters. Shit, the outback's scary. What's gonna happen next? <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get some ice cold juice because it may be soon that we don't have an ice cold fridge anymore. <laughs> oh dear. Here, look. Yeah. Completely ripped out. I mean, now we've lots of storage space. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't rip that thing off. <laughs> hey man, at least we're safe. I know. But yeah, it's really shit and annoying. It's really shit. So I'm just going to disconnect the cables and also just take those cables down because there's no point in them being up there flapping around. This is also, like we said, this is the beginning of it being like not really being anyone else up here. You know, like beyond this point, you're getting like really into the outback and right at the start of us being really into the outback is when we lose our power. And that's when I need my ice cold drinks, guys. What an experience. Honestly, this has turned out to be one I will never forget, <laughs> you know? And I think, yeah, we just gotta be smart, learn, and that's all we can do, man. Yeah. As long as we have water and coffee, <laughs> we'll we be okay. <laughs> So we're about halfway to keep repeating. We've driven for about two hours. We've lost two solar panels. So <laughs> we're, we're coming to terms with it. Mm. But we're stopping here at this rest area just to get a breather, to get some food, to mm -hmm. stretch, you know? Yeah. I've never felt heat like this. Guys, I mean, really, you feel like you're inside a turned on oven. It is. It's insane. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like I'm in a kiln getting baked.
Um, I don't think we can do it. Do what? We can't, I don't think we can even be outside. Even in the shade, it's too hot. Okay, let me come out and experience this it. This is crazy. Billy, am I on the sun's surface? Am I on the surface of the sun? But it's like, come into the shade and you'll get some respite. Nope. It's not any less hot. What is this weird illusion? It's so flat out here that there's a lot of wind and the heat just carries, man. That, that heat is on that wind. That is a, that's a, I'm inside a blow heater. Yeah, this is crazy. I think uh, we just move on. Yeah. We can't stop. We literally no, can't stop. Guys, scratch that. Let's get back on the road. Let's get back in, get some AC. This is unbearable. I know what a lot of you might be thinking. Of course, it's going to be hot in the middle of Australia in their summer. It's not usually meant to be this hot. It just so happens that there's a heat wave at the moment as well. So we just got to grin and bear it. We just got to be safe for the next couple of days. Get up to Alice, do what we need to do, and then we'll be, we'll be good. PG van, eh? There is a real raven going mad at a fake oil. What? Oh, it's the little things that give you pleasure, isn't it? Uh. <gasps> Guys, I'm telling you, something's brewing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty relieved to be back in civilization for a little bit. That was a pretty intense drive. What's an actual fire? Wow. That is so scary. That's nuts. That's just like out of nowhere. Just in the middle of nowhere? Just a little patch of fire? Wow. The outback is no joke, man. Let's fill up our petrol, fill up our LPG. That is not what we need right now. So, fingers crossed the other one works. Yeah? Guys, I'm gonna be honest, that made my heart flutter. I was a bit scared there. Stop working? Yeah. After $10? Yeah. Alright, so it only let us fill up like $10, so I feel like it's just too hot. So I think our best situation is if we're gonna stay in Cooper Beach tonight, we fill up our petrol here and then we come in the morning when our when the van's cool. And try again. And try again. Okay. the shade and the one other camper. Guys, we've came to a campsite. After experiencing this weather, and it's only going to be hotter tomorrow, we thought it'd be the most sensible decision to stay put for a day or two, let the heat wave calm down, and then we can move on. There's showers here! There's showers, there's laundry, and there's a swimming pool, guys. What is this, a luxury? I, I literally said that to the woman when she told me she had all that stuff. I was like, what's this luxury life? <laughs> We're not used to this, this is amazing. I might go and have a shower right now. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, guys, so while Philly scouts it out, I'm gonna make a little food. And I thought I'd give you a laugh because I got absolutely suckered in by this photograph. And I thought, mac and cheese, like look how good, that looks like a, pa a bachelor's pasta and cheese sauce, you know. I, I was getting like pasta and sauce vibes. And then Philly opened it on me earlier to see what I'd bought. Is that not the most pathetic thing you've ever spent $4 on in your life? A little bag of pasta and a little pouch of powder. Guys, what can I say? I'm a sucker for a picture of friggin' pasta and a piece of bread when I'm hungry. So I'm gonna make it anyway, see if it's any good. 
So they've got showers and toilets, obviously. Yeah. Showers, man. That's all they need. If it's going to be hotter than this tomorrow, we're going to need to figure out other things that we can do <laughs> to stay cool. Okay, guys. I just finished making my mac and cheese. Don't ask me why the frig I'm making mac and cheese in this weather. I literally don't know. Okay, I just got it in my head, right? But it started to rain. And usually I would complain and I would be hiding with the camera, but guys, I can't tell you how good. Oh, I can't tell you how refreshing this rain is. I cannot tell you how good this feels. Oh, yes, please. I better shut all the doors and I better hide you from the rain, but guys, this feels good. Your little face. It's just hot, it's not burnt. Okay, but you're a beetroot. Oh. oh my goodness, Keely. Guys, am I burnt? Why didn't you tell me? Um, is it burnt or is it just hot? I think I might just be flushed. I think you might need to go and have a shower and cool yourself down. I You've can't. got like a, a love heart on your forehead here. It's like, guys, this is for you. Keely burnt the shape of a love heart on her uh, head. Philly, that's not funny. If for that's all happened. of you to subscribe to our channel. Is that because I put sun lotion on like this? And I miss this little bit. Or where am I red? Or am I red here? Where am I red? It's red all over. Then why have I got a love heart? <laughs> I don't know, but it's <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> the more the more I look at it, the more like prominent it is. <laughs> love you guys. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay guys, so I actually ended up going for a swim. And then I went for a shower. And I felt so good. But it's still so hot here. And uh, Philly's just started walking over for a shower and then got stopped by someone. I'm not sure what they're chatting about, but I'm gonna get the bed out because the truth is it's too hot to do anything except lie in bed. That's my plan. I have no idea what we're gonna do with these panels. It's cracked here, it's cracked here. They are shattered in numerous places. We have no capacity to mend them. Honestly, I'm not really sure what we're going to do about the solar panel situation, about the power situation. Obviously, we came here so that we could plug in and get it topped up just to buy us some time to figure it out. But it's definitely not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. I'm going to pull the bed out and slide these down the side of the bed and not think about it for a while. Okay guys, I wanna say a huge thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. And if you don't know what a VPN is, it's a virtual private network, which protects your internet connection and privacy online, effectively by putting a middleman between you and the internet that you're connecting to. So here's some reasons why you need a VPN. If you do not like your internet service provider collecting all of your search history and selling it to the highest bidder, then you need NordVPN. If you don't want to be worried when you're connecting to public Wi-Fi's because you think there might be hackers monitoring it, then you need to connect to NordVPN. And if you want to mask your IP and make it look like you're in a different country, then you need NordVPN. Two reasons, maybe three reasons you might want to do that. One, when you're in different countries like us right now, you want to change your location so it looks like you're in your home country to get access to all the different streaming services showing those TV shows. Two, whenever you're in different countries, the flights can be cheaper when you're booking it from an abroad country. And thirdly, there's some online subscription services that are a lot cheaper in other countries. But most importantly, guys, the reason we really think everyone needs a VPN is to help protect their personal information, especially financial information because we have heard too many horror stories now of people getting scammed online so please if you're considering it check out nordvpn we'll put the link down below if you sign up for two years you will get four months extra free with us and we really really recommend them so thank you so much nordvpn for sponsoring this video guys this is pretty grim we knew it was gonna be pretty bad because of the heat but nobody told us about the bloody wind It's just really hard to do anything because you get out of the van and you get dirt blown in your face and you get back into the van and you just melt and it's like this constant heat everything is hot i was trying to cook pancakes guys it's too windy literally can't cook them the pancakes were drying out in the heat quicker than the gas could heat it up so basically what i'm trying to say is i didn't have enough breakfast so i'm also hungry so just throw that into the mix <laughs> but we have a plan We've got a plan. Oh, he 
look so miserable. Is it working? Yeah. Are you okay? It's of dirt in my eye. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yes. We can't drive anywhere in this. No. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go pay. I'm gonna see. Oh my goodness, this wind, guys. I'm gonna see if they've got the coldest, iciest drink of something ever. Thank you. Oh yeah. Okay, so we are in a town called Cooper Pedy, and it's most famously known for its opal mining. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go and mine some opals. I, I don't, no, we're not. We're, we're going to the museum. <laughs> we're going to learn about how they mine opals. Okay. I don't think we're going to be doing much traveling today. I think because of the wind and because of the weather and the UV, I think it makes more sense to try and do stuff that's going to keep us cool. Yeah. So let's go opal mining. Not opal mining. Let's go look at a museum about it. Museum, yeah. This is where we're going. We, we beat the rush. <laughs> It's so hot, it's so hot today. Thanks for your help. My help. Oh my goodness, I'm sweaty. I don't know what I'm more excited about, to learn about the mining or to literally be inside away from the sun. Look at this place. This is We're real. Inside. This is real. <laughs> well, it's not made of polystyrene or fiberglass. And it's cool. This is what's keeping us cool. Hello. Hi, Hi, Hi. Hi. My name's Billy. I'm going to be your guard for today. Nice to meet Billy you. I'm taking you guys around. alone supplies about 80% of the entire world's opal. <laughs> of course you had to sit down. had to sit down. It's not very, very springy. <laughs> it is very springy. Don't break it. I, I'll That's stop a spring. Cooper relic right there. This, seems, this could be a very romantic space. <laughs> <laughs> it's the red carpet, it's right? It's the red carpet and the low light. It's very <laughs> sexy. There you go. <laughs> Has anybody ever said that before? <laughs> you know what? Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, guys, from the museum, we've headed to Free Park Up, which coincidentally is under this cool Cooper Pity sign. We're just going to get some lunch here. It's currently one o'clock, and I know it might look quite overcast behind me, but do not let that fool you. It is still super hot. I don't know if I've said it already in this video, but it's crazy hot. I've never felt heat like this, even in the shade, it's too hot. This is unbearable. If it's going to be hotter than this tomorrow, we're going to need to figure out other things that we can do. Now, this is pretty grim. I'm sweaty. It's currently 41.8 degrees. It's meant to get up to 47 degrees today. So, we're going to park up here, get some food, and then put our heads together and think about what we can do to stay cool tonight. Hey. I'm making sandwiches. You're looking hot. I am hot. Not the sexy kind. I don't think you've ever used the word hot to describe me as a compliment, ever. <laughs> you look hot. <laughs> well, with those shorts stuffed up your bum, <laughs> do you blame me? Here you have it. Lunch is served. <laughs> we've got sandwiches. We've got some salsa from, from Helen. Shout out to Helen. Uh, we've got our tortilla triangles. And of course, the main ingredient for everything is a bucket of hummus. <laughs> oh, guys, it's so hot. So hot. Did we tell you it was hot? I don't think we mentioned it before. 
everything is hot. Guys, I mean, really, you feel like your inside are turned on off. It's like I'm in a kiln getting decked. Am I on the sun's surface? Am I on the surface of the sun? So we've shown you how cool that mining museum was. And now the only thing left to do in Cooper PD is stay in one of these dugouts. Yes. So we have booked a dugout for tonight and we're gonna go and experience what it's like to live underground in a cave. This is apparently how people survive in this arid, barren landscape, that this is what people do. They dig down into the earth because of its cooling properties. So we're gonna go and try and experience that firsthand, guys, because the aircon's good in this van and all, but. As soon as you turn it off, it's, it just heats up. You're like literally in a microwave. Also, the heat is making us go a little bit do lally. Bit delirious. Woo, let's go! I'm also just excited to be inside somewhere. <laughs> Honestly, you see experience in that opal mine, just being inside in the cool temperature so good. was enough. I'm so let's go. Let's go live in a dugout. Sorry, I'm blinding you. Wait, I smell petrol. False alarm, guys. False alarm. We have to keep our petrol in the back because one, the extreme heat. It's probably not good to just leave petrol out on your roof. Uh -huh. And two, we've heard from several locals that there's like kids around here that like to steal stuff, so. Keep everything inside your van is what we've been told. Kaylee, there's a tumbleweed. Oh, it's. <laughs> there's an actual tumbleweed. We there it is, it's tumbling. Billy, I feel like we need to capture this. I need to, you need to turn down that road. Hey, little buddy, we're coming. It's going across the road. Go! <laughs> He's full of life. What was I said when I got distracted by a very thrill. sprightly tumbleweed? That was fun. This is why you never drink and drive. This is why I can't be allowed nice things. You know, I, I I tried to explain it to the to the girls. Like I'd love an opal. Guys, I can't be trusted with anything. I literally can't be trusted with anything. Don't buy me nice things. I don't deserve them. If you want any reinforcement to that fact. Uh, go check out her headlight. <laughs> I fell over in the mud. Turn around. <laughs> so yeah, this place is a little bit muddy and Keely slipped. She cleaned herself and she also cleaned Dingo's her eye. I'm actually so devastated. You've defaced <laughs> Dingo. <laughs> Literally gouged his eyeball out. Guys, living with Keely is a hazard. If you haven't realised it already. <laughs> Man, this wind is crazy. Oh, I'll be good to take these. <laughs> so weird. Wow, look at this. Guys, enjoy. Up the top, to the right, third door on your right. Perfect, thank you so much. Okay, so I don't know what I was expecting, but this place looks great. <laughs> I happily live in a cave. A dugout, sorry if I offended anybody. Home sweet home, Keely. Room tour. <laughs> oh, hello. There's no denying that it's a unique experience. Look at this roof. Yeah. Let's see how dark it is. Let's see if it's really dark. Okay, guys, we're gonna do a darkness test. Bathroom light off. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was expecting you to be like right here. Oh, you've got little lamps on on your shelves. Uh, that was dark. Did you feel it? Yeah, I felt it. I felt the darkness. Oh, darkness, my old friend. Guys, we've got a little kitchenette as well, which is really cool. Got a microwave tap, we can do our dishes and all, which is great. And we have a fridge. I love that when they just want more storage space, they just like start digging and make a whole other wardrobe. They just carve this out of the rock. I'm in. We could have just like gr grinned, grun, we gran and burr, you know, we could have just like gritted our teeth and been like, we're just gonna stay in the van. But the truth is, one, we need to edit. But two, we do want to encourage people being unsafe. It probably wouldn't have been very sensible to stay in the van at 47 degrees. So we've made one small smart decision in a sea of silly silliness. All right, we're gonna go and empty the contents of the van in here. Yes. Get everything charged up. Cool everything down. 
including ourselves. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs> Good morning. A room with no windows really messes with your perception of time. Are you gonna check out of this place? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Bye. Five minutes. <coughs> As you can see, we truly made ourselves at home. We came with the best intentions. We brought our laptops in and we were gonna do some work. But guys, we just conked out. Everything that we've been doing has just finally caught up on us. And the weather over the past few days and not having enough sleep and just traveling at 500 miles an hour, we just needed some good rest. And good rest we had. Yeah, today is the day that this weather was meant to break and flipping heck, it feels like a completely different country. This is like 15 degrees. It's actually a bit of a relief because this hot weather was pretty much unbearable. Lots of thistles. One more thing we have to do before we leave is charge a Blue Yeti. Considering we have no solar panels anymore, but it doesn't look like the sun's coming out today anyway. So thankfully there's an outside plug, so I'm gonna plug it in. Bingo! Now that that is charging, we've got to go get Keely up. It's going to be the next hard thing to, to do this morning. Guys, you already know my thoughts about instant coffee. No. Want to tell you have? <laughs> you gotta make it work. Also, you see me clean this nice, lovely space. I actually just moved it all over here. All right, guys. It's a few hours later. Fingers crossed. Our blue yeti is charged. We're ready to hit the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a weird experience. Cooper Petey's weird, but <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Even though it feels like we've been driving for a million years, we've only covered like one centimeter or something on the map. But even in this small one centimeter of distance on this giant map, the people we have met so far and the experiences have just been so wholesome, haven't they? Yeah, the amount of knowledge that people have here is quite refreshing. Mm -hmm. They just know so much about their local area, which is quite cool to see. Cooper PD is one of these towns where you just have to come and experience it for yourself. Yes. It feels like you're driving through a movie set <laughs> that's like stuck in the past. It's just crazy. All these dugouts underground, yeah. all these weird broken down rusty vehicles, <laughs> all the mines. Feels like we've just drove into the Wild West. Yeah, it does. It's, it's very, very unique. Definitely need to experience it for yourselves. 
but we have to hit the road guys because the storm has broken the temperature has dropped and the rain has come and apparently because it's so dry and been so hot these roads are prone to flash floods so we gotta hit the road while there's still road to hit ah, i forgot about road trains Guys, we made it! With the van mostly in town! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit emotional, I've made it. Mm, it does have lights on it. Yeah. 189. LPG! Okay, ready? Moment of truth. It sounds like gas is coming out. It engaged. Philly, is it working? That's the gas. I would just like to say, we have officially made it the whole way to the middle of the outback on LPG. People said we couldn't do it, and we did it. Yeah, a lot of people didn't believe, and we believed. And we have proven. We have proven <laughs> that it is possible to get to the outback in an LPG van. Yes. Done. Brilliant. Absolutely friggin' incredible. <laughs> That's awesome. Obviously guys, it goes without saying that LPG stations are few and far between and it seems that the LPG pumps are a lot less reliable than petrol and diesel pumps, but it's possible. Guys, Alice Springs is only 270 kilometers away and this tank will get us 350 kilometers. So we've friggin' done it. I'm buzzed. <laughs> All right, guys, we've just arrived at a campsite where we're starting a trek to Uluru and apparently they've got a camel in the back of it. <laughs> a camel is on our list that we haven't actually written down of animals that we want to see in Australia. It, now, this camel isn't wild, so, so it, it doesn't count, but it's a flipping camel. <laughs> so we have to go see it. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Actually, the camel's looking at me. It can sense that you're one of its kin. Oh, look at him, he's gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh. He's got a beard. Camels are kind of majestic. Yeah, I didn't realise I would like a camel so much. He's got like a little brown mohawk. And his hump. <gasps> He's coming over. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Give him a little scratch. Am I like the stroke you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's got fabulous hair. What are you doing? Why don't you let me touch you? Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> his head's massive. He likes the greenery. Oh my word, I'm getting kissed by a camel. Um, I'm getting stalked by an emu. Look at those talons. That emu got us alive. Hello. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, you are inquisitive. Who knew a camel and emu and a rooster would be best buds? I think we gotta crack out the big boy lens. <laughs> Do you not think so guys? Are you looking the eyelash? We don't know how close we'll get to wild camels, so we might as well take advantage of this camel being right here. Oh, hi Amy. Don't pack my fingers off. Oh my word, Philly. Did you know they ate grass? You're quite scary. You've literally got a piece of grass hanging out your feet. I'm afraid of you. Oh my God, don't come up at me. Don't come up at me. I'm sorry. Oh, the camel's jealous. Were oh, you jealous? Were oh, you jealous, my boy? Were oh, you jealous? Huh? Jealous. I'll get you more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I touch your fur? Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
Guys, I'm sure you can tell by the very orange dirt, we're in a very, very special place. We've made it really close to Uluru. We're actually at a campsite right now because obviously we have to charge our thing. You know, remember our solar panels got ripped off? But we are hoping to go and catch sunset there tonight. But first to earn that sunset, there's a three hour hike around <laughs> the base of Uluru. So we're gonna put Keely through her paces. Yes. I'm excited. I want to see all the different art and stuff. Obviously at Uluru there's very like strict restrictions or whatever. We can't fly the drone and there's a lot of stuff we can't film. But we're going to bring you guys along on all the stuff that we can film and I'm really excited. Me too. Let's go. So there you go. Hopefully we satisfied Keely's criteria of getting a camel's eyelash. Yes. Um, okay guys, we're about to leave. Uh, but <laughs> stupidly, we didn't realize that Uluru is still a three hour drive from here. I had no idea. I thought we were like at the Uluru campsite. No, we're at a crossroads between Alice Springs and Uluru. Okay. So the hike's definitely not happening today? The hike's not happening today, but we can drive to Uluru for sunset. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, we are idiots. I don't know why we didn't even think to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay then, well, three hour driving montage it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. guys have pulled over this doesn't even make sense geologically there's just flat plains all around it and then just this mound just poking up out of nowhere with a completely straight flat top this was one of the reasons that we came to Australia like honestly this is like why we built dingo the way we built here. them yeah <laughs> this feels monumental mm -hmm. we'll go home now <laughs> you've seen it let's go okay guys um so it turns out that mountain that we got really excited about is Dillery. <laughs> but in our defense, you know, it looked awesome and big and out of nowhere and there was nothing else around. So I'm slightly concerned that real Uluru might not be as impressive to me because I was very in awe of that. <laughs> Surely it should be more impressive. Okay, well, we'll soon see guys because apparently you can see it for the first time about 20 kilometers ahead of us. So let's see. Upon some further research, Uluru, just for the park entry, for three days, you can't get a single entry, they just do three day passes, is $38, which is like 20 quid. Guys, I think that's cheap. So I don't know what price tour companies are charging that this is known to be one of the most expensive trips. I mean, maybe they're factoring like flights to Australia and Alice Springs and yada, yada, yada. But if you're in your own camper van, there's free parking all down this road and it's 20 pounds to get into Uluru for three days. No brainer. That is sick. Also guys, how cool is my hat? <laughs> Cause I'm buzzing. I am so buzzing. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get out of here. Let's go. Where is this? It's, it's only one straight road. So we just keep going on this road. I'm looking for the LPG station. Okay, it's in the time. Can we make it? <laughs> 52 minutes, 84 kilometers. We should be able to make it. Let's see. Guys, did I mention I was buzzing? <laughs> Guys, did I mention my, my cool hat? <laughs> Howdy, fun. Okay, guys, so there you go. They have LPG in Uluru, filled up the tank, 
again almost half the price of normal petrol but the sun goes down in 30 minutes and it's 17 minutes until the sunset viewing park plus the fact that we need to actually go and buy tickets and get into Uluru so there's pretty good chance we're about to miss this sunset so he may stop bloody cleaning these windows and get back in the van this is literally not a priority so we're almost gonna miss the sunset so Keely has went onto the website and bought our park tickets wow okay guys it looks pretty freaking sick <laughs> that <laughs> is incredible <laughs> it looks pretty sick that is incredible what the Wow. Okay guys, so I'm rooting us to the sunset platform, which is in eight minutes apparently, and the sun is setting in 23 minutes, so we've made it. Spot me! Billy, we're gonna be in Uluru and wait, it's the sunset! Okay guys, obviously I couldn't go for the hike because we completely miscalculated this drive. But we're gonna see the sunset and then we'll we'll get up and hike tomorrow. Wow, that is pretty impressive. Guys, we are not alone. Oh wow, how lovely! It's nice, we got friends. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect there to be other people. It's quite cute, isn't it? Oh, this is actually quite lovely. It's making me a little emotional. They're sitting on the roof. Oh my goodness, we can sit on our roof because they ripped our solar panels off. Yeah, see, there's a silver lining and everything. Oh my goodness, we're gonna sit on our roof. I'm gonna cry. Oh my goodness, Philly. Philly, I'm gonna cry. This is pretty sick. I usually cry over animals. We made it here in this van. Dingo got us here. Dingo got us here on LPG. Dingo got us here safely, minus two solar panels. We made it in time for sunset. I'm gonna be honest, from far away, I was like, it just looks like a mound. It doesn't really look that exciting. But when you pull in and you can see it, it's very beautiful. Guys, we made it. The sun is setting behind us. Come on up, my love. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I'm not sure if you are, but that's my husband. Can't forget my hat. This is my van. And that's freaking out, Louis. Like, how, how did we get here? Tell me what the hell, man. Like, really let that sink in. Don't stand on your phone. Okay, flexible. Oh, I've got the wrong lens on to capture that magic. Why is it? Gross. Hmm? <laughs> it's so surreal that, that we're here in Dingo. Yeah. Like in this wee van that we built in Melbourne, we're here. I don't know, I guess I didn't know if we would make it. It's true. We could have easily not made it. Guys, this is just an incredible experience. To think that we were in Melbourne like two months ago building out this van. To think that we were in Scotland a few months before that. Crazy. With, without even the thought of Australia. Yeah, like we like four months ago, we'd have no idea we'd be sitting here. This is, this blows my mind. Like, I have no words. I'm also trying to convince Philly to let us get the big boy lens out so we can zoom in and see what it looks like. Okay, let's see how close we can get. Alright guys, the sun is disappearing and as beautiful as Uluru is, the sky behind us is also pretty epic. Now, I'll be honest guys, there's a lot of mosquitoes around us and the park shuts soon, but I kind of really want to stay. I just want to see the first star. I just want to see one star and then we can go hide from mosquitoes. Is that okay? <sighs> Whatever you want. <laughs> Turns out uh, the first star is already out, so <laughs> let's go. No. <laughs> oh, now you're shifting your parameters. The, I want the okay, star well, above Uluru. Okay, a star, okay, and then when we see that, what's it, what's it going to be next? There's your first star, Keely. A step for more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's one right at the top of Uluru. Where? <gasps> Twinkling at you. It's like winking at okay, you. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take that <laughs> one. Philly, this is mm. so special. This is so special. But you know what's special? 
my cool hat. <laughs> getting loads of them are coming out. Alright guys, sadly we cannot stay in the park overnight, so we have to drive about 20 minutes back in ourselves, but we're going to do that and then we're going to come back in the morning and walk around this thing. Yeah. We'll see you in the morning guys. Love yous. Good morning guys. Man, I just find it so surreal that we're here. Waking up this morning and stepping outside under this red dirt to the sound of birds is just something else, you know? But we have so much to do today. We have so much distance to cover. And first thing on our agenda is a 10 kilometer hike around the base of Uluru. <laughs> so <laughs> we gotta make a move. Good morning, guys. Good morning. S sorry about the random flies. Oh, good morning to me. Yeah, I have a plan of you. <laughs> um, where's my coffee? <laughs> sorry, there. Where you go? Uh. First things first. Strong one this morning. Well, hello there, cowboy. Hello. What's going on? Um, That's someone was hitting my eyes. I couldn't find my sunglasses and I couldn't find my hat. Looking suave. Guys, this is why I couldn't buy a hat like this. It just doesn't work with my bun. <laughs> a present for you, my wife. Thank you, my husband. For anybody wondering why I don't have a cool cup like Keely's, I like my coffee drinkable. <laughs> I don't like to burn my tongue or my throat. Those insulated cups that keep the coffee hot for too long, there's definitely a purpose for them, but the Outback in Australia is not that purpose. <laughs> so it's currently half seven, and if we want to do this track around the base of Uluru, we've got to make a move. This is a colossus. <laughs> it's an absolute monster. Man, can you believe that we thought that other thing was Uluru? <laughs> I've seen Uluru like a thousand times on pictures and on videos. And I don't know why the first time I see it in real life, my mind just forgets what it looks like. <laughs> so guess you, it's a big rock in the middle of the desert. It's absolutely fantastic. Whenever we go do this walk, there's a lot of stuff that we're not allowed to film, but we're gonna try and bring you guys along as much as we can, let you experience it with us, but also while being really respectful of the indigenous people here and making sure we do not break any rules. But I'm excited. Billy, this is the closest we've ever been to Ayers Rock. <laughs> no, this is the closest we've ever been to Ayers Rock. No, this is the closest we've ever been. No, <laughs> this is the closest we've ever been to Ayers Rock. Look at that. Holy Moses. Whoa! My goodness! I did not know that we would get this close. I know we were going for a walk around the base of it, but like, I didn't know we could drive right to the base of it. This is incredible, Kenny. Look at this. <laughs> that's that's Aaron Rock, right there. I can't believe never, we're here. Never did I think I would be here. This is insane. Look at this, guys. That is that. It's the roof. Oh my god! I can't wait to walk around it. I have butterflies. Oh, that's so sweet. This is crazy. I've got a slightly glistening eye. <laughs> oh, I just can't believe, Philly, I can't believe we're here. I can't believe we're here in Dingo. I think that's the most surprising thing. Dingo, you made it. <laughs> Good boy. Uh, you have to make it back. Yes, please. That's incredible. And by the looks of it, there's literally only like 10 other people here. This is incredible. This is Flipping incredible. Egg. This is majestic. This is friggin' incredible. I. <laughs> yeah, there come the tears. <laughs> Gotta keep the van as cool as possible. And if I'm not in it, then it's not cool. So. <laughs> but what if you leave your cool hat? <laughs> if I leave my cool hat, then the van will be ice cold. <laughs> Food. 
I haven't had breakfast. Just realised. Okay. How do you feel? Are you going to survive? Oh, you're filming. Hi, guys. Um, No, I'm going to need to eat something before we go. Let's be realistic. Guys, apparently you can go on a Segway tour here as well. Why aren't we going on a Segway? No, I'm going to be honest. I thought that sounded cool. But then we seen a group of Segwayers go past, all on these big noises, and it was just like, and it just kind of felt like, I don't feel like that's the vibe of this scene. Okay, yeah. It's like I, noisy, I get that. modern technology. Let's just walk, man. Let's just enjoy it. Let's use your feet. Let's use your yeah, legs. Exactly. Let's use your thighs. Yeah. Good for shopping. <laughs> so, guys, we've got water, food, blanket, hats, gate, sun cream. Oh, yeah. It's good to see you protecting your skin. Yeah, and even though it's early in the morning, it's the UV hot. feels high. It really man. does. Good job you've got that cool hat. I know. <laughs> Guys, let us know in the comments whose hat's cooler. Definitely yours. Who wears it better? Definitely you. <laughs> I don't know. No. You're pretty damn cool. Did you iron that t-shirt? Your mom would go wild. <laughs> My mum never did ironing. <laughs> we get 59. We gotta go. We gotta make severe tracks. Yes. You ready? Yeah. We're going for a walk around it, are we? Stay safe, little dingo. Are you ready for this? Guys, this is so exciting. Like, I'm so hyped right now. Can you look what's behind you? That's insane. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if it comes across on camera, but we are so excited to be here and to learn about it as well. It's pretty damn awesome. Like, I'm literally, literally within a stone's throw, even my weak, pathetic throw. Like, it's, it's right there. Just looks like it would just emanate power, do you know what I mean? <laughs> just looks sick. But doesn't it look like somebody's just molded it? Yeah, like a big lump of wet clay. Like loads of like finger impressions and stuff? It literally does. All right guys, we've been walking for about 20 minutes and the only people that we've seen have been walking the opposite way to us. <laughs> and Keely was like, I don't know what they're doing. I read a blog online saying that you walk clockwise. Well, when we thought about it, we were walking anti-clockwise. <laughs> I'm a math teacher. I don't know why I got that wrong. We literally, <laughs> when we set off, we're like, okay, clockwise or anti-clockwise, let's go clockwise. And we walked the wrong way. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're about a quarter, maybe even a third of the way around now. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I'm having a breakfast. <laughs> so I'm hungry. We're going to stop. There's a beautiful little bit of shade here. There's a bench. And we're just going to eat our food. We're, we're, going to have, we're just going to be eating food by Ulleray. Back to my nice flat hike. Onwards. Westward ho! So we're being super cautious about what we're filming, but it's good to see that there are signs telling you where you can film and where you can't. So I feel a lot better now. So that's pretty cool. It kind of just preserves that cultural integrity, I suppose. Yeah. Guys, that's Ullery, right there. Look at that, that's crazy. Ah, oh, they're all over my feet. Shit. Billy, you've got loads of them on that foot, loads of them. Take that shoe off, take that shoe off, take that shoe off. Guys, I stopped to take a shot of the ants. What the hell? They're all over my shoe. Stay hydrated, kids. All right, we stopped for Kaylee to reapply sun lotion to hydrate. Yeah. And guys, we realized that we're probably only about halfway and it's starting to get pretty hot. It's very hot. So. We gotta motor. Yeah, we gotta pull our socks up and <laughs> make some tracks on this track. Yeah. Ignore the red face, guys. It's super hot. But it's crazy because it's so hot that it's really, really hard to imagine this ever having water flowing on it. But you can see like carved out of the rocks where like rivers of water must flow down this thing. And right now I just I just really wanna find one and jump in it. Cause it's brutal. <laughs> so parts of this walk are so exposed. Like you're just so exposed to the sun and it just shows that you need a cool hat like mine <laughs> or a mediocre hat like Keely's. It's not even mediocre, <laughs> it's terrible. And water and sun cream and just like stop for regular breaks in the shade if you can. 
because this is very exposed. Yeah. I don't know if I said it, but it's really exposed. <laughs> very exposed. I'm very hot. Okay, guys. There's a little part of Ellery Rock, which is like a cave. So we've come in. I'm just trying to get my body temp down, even though the car park's right there. It's just so hot. This was the women's cave and they would come in here, they'd forge all their food and berries and stuff and come in here and pound it all down, pound their seeds, make flour, make flatbread. And this was like the area that they did a lot of cooking, which is pretty cool. And I'm just gonna take advantage of the shade to cool down because my face is very red. Whose idea was this? I know, I know. I know. All right guys, it seems like we're on the home stretch. <sighs> Our pin looks like it's getting closer to the car park. You've got a little red head. That was pretty brutal. Yeah, I expected it'd be quite easy because it's just a flat walk, but yeah, just because parts are so exposed. Mm -hmm. Did you mention it was exposed? I don't think I mentioned that, but <laughs> like, some parts are slightly exposed, but it's pretty awesome just seeing yeah. Uluru from all different angles. Yeah. On the plaques, learning about the history as well. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Let's get back to this van. Yes, please. I made it back and I'm alive. I also made it back. And he's also alive. I wish we had more time to just like stop and relax, but we have a lot of tracks to make today. One piece of advice, come really early in the morning. <laughs> really. Let's keep moving. Okay guys, beyond Uluru, a further like 40 minutes down this road is another rock formation that we're going to go check out. We've heard from a lot of people that this is like super, super beautiful. You can walk right down in it. And even though it's further, which means it's going to be like a five hour drive back on ourselves. I mean, we're never going to be down here again, guys. So we got to do it. Of course. What else are we going to do? <laughs> so um, I'm excited. Did I tell you that I'm excited? Are you excited? <laughs> I've been excited about this whole day. Apparently there's like a swimming creek, mm -hmm. but it's like a five hour drive from here. Yeah. That was our plan. Our plan is to hit that today, so we have a lot of driving to do. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Sorry. Are you excited? Um, I'm, I'm excited. elated. Um, I'm ecstatic. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. overjoyed. Insert your favorite synonyms for excited down below. <laughs> I know where to park. <laughs> where to park as close to the gorge as possible. Yes, please. That would be a gorge. Gorgeous. All right, guys. That's right. We're going on another walk. Who are we? We've changed as people. <laughs> Fundamentally, Australia, you've changed us. <laughs> We're not going to spend too much time here because we've a lot to see. But we want to check. We just want to dabble in everything. Mm -hmm. Just going to stick our toes in and then come back. Uh, excuse me. What? What do you think you're doing? I was just holding it for you. What? I was just holding it. Don't you dare. I was just holding it. I'm the coolest hat wearer in yeah, town. You are. Uh, guys, I don't know if you can see my face, but there's a fly inside my eye. This is grim. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else does this, but even though the central locking works, I always feel the need to check every single door three times. I want to them not like that. Oh, somebody left the burke. Burke down. Free Burke. All right, so just seen a sign that says that just to, to take a lot of caution here because it's an area of extreme heat. So I don't know if the gorge like traps the heat, but also it's quite rocky. So we'll just play it by ear. Yeah, it's a much more difficult hike. Uluru is literally like you seem just flat, but super exposed. Whereas this is rocky, bit inclined in the gorge. So we'll just see. The terrain here feels like what it would be like if you were walking on Mars. It's like these just red rocks. And one thing that we've mentioned to each other quite a lot is that we're surprised how green it is here and how lush. I was expecting it to be more barren and be more desert-like, but there's proper little pockets of lush 
greenery, trees and shrubs and everything. Guys, did you ever believe that this would be what the outback looked like? Like, look how green this place is. It's incredible. So it turns out the gorge part of this is a lot more deceiving than it seems. It's like we were walking towards it and it's getting farther away. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to feel like this. These domes feel absolutely huge. When you're far away from them, they, they look huge. But when you get up close, you're just dwarfed in comparison to them. Yeah. Woo! That was cool. Woo! I don't, I'm afraid. Woo! I know, I don't... I Go on. Woo! I echoed in my weird annoying high pitch voice. All right, guys, we're turning back. We've, we've reached that point. The sun is at its hottest right now, so <laughs> we think we will get back in to our sweet, sweet SE. And drive for like five hours. And drive for five hours <laughs> to get to a gorge where we can swim. Yes. Alright guys, we made it to Kings Canyon. I think it was a little bit wishful thinking that we were going to get to close to Alice Springs, considering we're still about four hours away from there. Guys, these roads are just so deceiving. This area is very beautiful, but unfortunately no overnight camping, no drones, and you're not allowed here after 8pm, and we've arrived at 7. So we've got one hour. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to hang around here, as beautiful as it is. Uh, we've still got so much to see on the route to Alice Springs, so I think we're going to find somewhere where we can park up. Philly, there's a wild camel, 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 there's a wild camel. Philly, there's a wild camel. There's a wild camel? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Are you okay? Are you having a heart attack? Okay, so maybe this drive is worth it after all. I'm filming guys, look at him. Look at him. He's just in my tree. That's a camel! <laughs> like... What? I've never, I've never seen a wild camel before. That is crazy. Australia has camels. We've been driving for about eight hours today. Crazy. And we've only moved like this much on the map. This is crazy. Australia is so big. If anyone didn't know, Australia is huge. <laughs> yeah, so this road turned to an unsealed road and we were both like, oh my word, this is insane. This is going to be so long and so treacherous. And it is long, it is treacherous, it is scary. But that camel just... <laughs> Give us the boost that we needed. I really did that. <laughs> Oh my word, I can't believe it guys. Put camel emojis down below if you're as excited to see that as we were. That's a massive one to take off our list. 24 hour overnight camping allowed. Yeah, this is it. We are going to get an incredible view. Guys, welcome. Welcome to the tiny van. Watch my bottom doesn't knock things over. <laughs> This, this van can't contain your bottom. <laughs> Guys, we didn't do anything. We literally just stopped the van, got the bed out, and that's pretty much it. And now I'm wiping my feet because they're gross. I haven't wiped mine yet. Should I show people? No. No, you've um, got gross feet. Excuse me, I have very dainty feet. No, you do. Yeah, you've got small feet, but you've got athlete's foot all the time, and they're crusty and gross. There's a difference between dainty and gross. Okay. <laughs> I've got gross, dainty feet. We would not survive this trip without the Zircon unit. Oh my word, yes. Yes. <sighs> it's 31 degrees right now on the top. We need that. Oh, look at this button, that's fun. Look at you in the background, just existing. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit gutted we didn't get to the creek today. I was really banking on the fact that we can get a swim. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, it means we can get it tomorrow. Yes, yes, so we might see camels in the daylight. We still have a lot of driving to do. Guys, vote right now. Do you wanna see me driving Dingo? You know, should we split the driving? Should I keep letting him do it? If you wanna see me drive, if you wanna come along on that experience. If you wanna see us survive, say no. Okay, well just let us know. Do you wanna do you wanna witness Keely driving or you think let's keep at it, Philly, keep at it. I'll see you guys in the morning. Love you guys. No. Good morning guys. I'm gonna be completely honest. I slept like complete trash last night. Yeah, I haven't slept well over the past like week. We do have our little AC unit on and it, it does help so much. And we left the door open last night, but it's still just so hot and sticky. Have you got clothes on? Yeah, just for you. So, our three big goals today, I suppose, are one, to see more camels. I mean, that's my top priority right now, now that I know there's ones in this area. Two, we need to get some wild swimming in, guys, because it's very hot. And three, we just gotta see some of this stuff. Okay, so we still have another three hours before we get to the, the first thing that we want to see today. So we better make some tracks. Guys, I just got out to catch the drone and uh, look at these. Not that one, that's a human one. That one, that one. Big, fat, camel footprints. Guys, look at this road. Literally for as long as I can see, it's just an unsealed road <laughs> for what looks like miles upon miles. driving for almost over an hour now and on our maps we've only moved like 10 minutes yeah and the road is bad the road is pretty bad in places definitely a little bit nervous mostly because of the distance if this is the way the road is going to be like until our next destination in like two hours it's going to take us all day mm -hmm. and i don't know if we've got enough fuel for that yeah, I'm just gonna, like, once we get to the town, I'm gonna reflect on this because I don't want to put out all my feelings right now. Where is the town? <laughs> Saying good things. It's pr 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 almost the same distance again. Another hour of unsealed road. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> it's been getting gradually worse. Yeah. I don't want to get to the point where it's four wheel drive. Because <laughs> we can't turn back. Oh, well, yeah, that's the thing. We're at the point of no return now. Uh, please, roads, get better. <laughs> Hell. This is crazy. I think I see a truck in the bushes as well. Is it, uh, There's a big pothole. That's reassuring. Guys, are we ever going to make it out alive? This is where we started our campsite this morning, and I thought this town's just around the corner. This has been the longest drive of our life, but we're very close now. Guys, there's a satellite. Civilization! Civilization! I feel like we've been driving for days. Okay, guys, so on the map, I just checked. It's like, where's this town? Turns out we're past the town. There was no town. I don't know what that satellite was for because there's no town. There's no town. And the next place is this entire distance again times by two yeah 
Okay. So again, I'm not gonna speak all my negative concerns over this situation until we get somewhere. But when we finally get somewhere, I've got a lot of thoughts that I'm gonna be spewing all over you, okay? Let's keep trucking. <laughs> <laughs> we got this slow and steady wins the race, Keely. I'm pretty confident that we're gonna make it out of this alive. But it's so sobering to see how things could go from bad to worse very quickly. So quickly, so quickly. You know? Thankfully, we're in a Toyota. We got this. We got it. Camels, Loads camels, them. camels, 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 camels. Oh my goodness, Keely, there's loads of them. Camels, camels, camels. Oh my goodness, I made it all worth it. I made it all worth it. I'm crying. It's not just animals. This road's horrific, guys. I'm going to be honest, this road's mother effing horrific. This is so unenjoyable. <laughs> they just make me hurt. How many can you say? <sighs> Twelve. Oh my god, my heart's so full. Put on the big boy lens, everyone has to see. <laughs> Honestly, guys, seeing wildlife like this is incredible. It's the only thing that makes <laughs> this worth it. Wow. Well, that is just phenomenal. Honestly, that's made my day. <laughs> Me too. That no, doesn't matter. I don't care about this road. I'm driving it for days. <laughs> that is awesome. That was spectacular. And like watching them migrate as a family, just like walking in a row and all. Oh. Super cool. And on a positive note, we seen a car. We didn't catch it in camera, which means that he's come from somewhere. It means that if a Toyota Yaris can drive on this, Dingo can drive on this. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It means that none of this is four wheel drive. Yeah. Fingers crossed, we get back to more of a main road soon. Oh, please, guys. I mean, give me the camels, but give me some tarmac. <laughs> Let's keep moving. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. We have, cowboy. When we started this trip, we said we wanted to get into the outback, so we can only blame ourselves. <laughs> this is what we wanted. <laughs> and we're here. I mean, to be clear, we're still not anywhere. There's no town, some water and petrol, but... That, that is the outback. That's true, that's true. I'm really hungry, so we stop your <laughs> Oof. All right, guys, we've pulled over. Because we haven't had any breakfast today, and it doesn't look like there's anywhere to pull over anytime soon. So I think if we get some food in our bellies, that'll at least make us a little bit happier. We've driven out a full, a full tank of LPG and a full tank of petrol. So we have another 40 litres. That should, fingers crossed, get us about another 300k to the next petrol station. Uh, fingers crossed that we don't run out of petrol. <laughs> okay guys, I'm on food duty because we definitely need some energy. Um, but I've also just realized, aside from all the other things that have run out, that, as you know, a road train ripped off our solar panels and we have no solar power. And it looks like our Blue Yeti's run out. So we now have no power either. I just made some chickpea mayo sweet corn wraps. I've brought, Food. In, brought in about 50 billion flies with me, but eh. Uh... Seeing a few other cars on this road has given me a lot more confidence just to nail it. Shall we get going? Yes, please. Oh, I wasted two drips. I thought there was none left. Why did you do that? I wasted two drips. Give me that back. You're an idiot. I thought there was You're an that. absolute idiot. I was showing people that we have no water left. Let's sabotage ourselves.
Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. What? This yes. feels like the best thing ever? Yes. Oh my word. Honest to goodness, guys. What is this sweet, sweet bread goodness? This is a sweet, smooth surface. <laughs> this is like a Kaylee's backside. Okay, okay, that's a compliment. <laughs> wow. Guys, that was over three hours. Over three hours of the corrugated road. That was pretty gnarly. Yeah. What the hell, guys? Guys, we spoke too soon. That was literally. Why would they have 30 seconds of tarmac? They're trolling us. Why? Yeah, so this road is completely different than the other road and maybe worse. Uh, it's very compacted, hard white sand. It's not enjoyable. Whoa. We also heard some things crashing in the back. Don't know if you can hear me, but we're gonna have to check that later. Oh my goodness. It's, it's, put, it's putting a lot of strain on the van, isn't it? Yeah, do like this. Yay. I'm not gonna celebrate because it'll just be taken away from me. The IPAC said, <laughs> destroyed our trust. <laughs> One of the big things, apart from that creek for the swimming, that was here that I really wanted to see that we've driven all this way for is a giant asteroid crater and that sign says that it's 18 kilometers of four-wheel drive <laughs> devastated okay so unfortunately that road becomes unsealed and I presume if it says four-wheel drive it must get pretty gnarly towards the end and also guys I've just realized that apparently we need a park pass to get in here and this seems to be a thing that NT's put a lot of money into its tourism it says there since April 2023 you need a park pass because we've got no internet so I have absolutely no idea how I would even go about purchasing one I don't know if it's manned I literally don't understand anything at all but all I know is I pulled the drone up right here above where we are we're still six kilometers away but I got some pretty cool shots for that creator I need a stiff drink Oh my word, we both need a drink. We need a drink so bad. I don't know when the hell we're going to see a town. We're making our way to somewhere. Somewhere with water, hopefully. We're in Helen Gorge. I think it's off season and it's shut. All amenities are locked. So it's shut out of season? Well. It says that it's just reopened after one million dollars of renovations. But it must be shut because we're out of season. This has definitely not had one million dollars of renovations. It's just a pile of dirt. Yeah, so this is a, it's a self-service pump. How do you pay? Oh, hi. Man, that creek looks dry. I mean, that looks dry as a bone. It does, it does. Not looking good, Keely. Guys, I'm more down to the point where literally the only thing I can think about right now is that I need drinking water. Like, we just need water so much. There's some water in the back. Just like half a litre. Yeah. Half a liter? We do have like 15 liters of other water. It's just not drinkable, but it'll well, become it drinkable, drinkable if we need yeah. it. It just tastes a little bit funky. Guys, we've got a fridge cold water inside and it's shut. I knew tours and stuff were closed at this time of year. I realized that a few weeks ago, but I didn't know like campsites and shit. Like we need water, we need shops. Like where the hell is everything? There's a toilet. I'm gonna go check out, see if there's a drinking tap or something in it. I'm at an all-time low right now. I also don't know where there's drinking water. I just don't know where there's facilities. It's scorching hot. I don't know. I'm actually, I'm going a bit delirious. Like, I've lost the plot. I'm at the point where it's like, do we drive to Alice Springs? But that's stupid, because there's all this gorgeous stuff to do here. No, there's not. Everything's closed. No, yeah, it's all closed, but it's meant to be beautiful. But we need food and water. Like we need to stock up. We can't just sit here hoping. I don't have internet. Do you have internet? We've no signal. We've no way to look up shops. We've no nothing. I definitely didn't anticipate when I woke up this morning that we'd be driving for six hours. Oh, this is so shit. All right, guys. I don't know if it shows, but we're going a little bit crazy right now. There is a creek and a gorge. Keely just met somebody on the road, and they said that there was lots of water to swim in. 
So we're going to go in, we're going to get refreshed and hopefully, fingers crossed, come out with a clear head. I need water to come into my body already. I'm so excited. One, not only does the water look incredible and I can't wait, but two, this part has the shade of the rock, which means I'm just going to stay on it. <sighs> Doesn't that just, just polish your body temp right down? Yeah, this is what Instantly. we needed. This is what we needed. <laughs> what an incredible spot. That's exactly what we needed. Sadly, we can't swim away our problems, so <laughs> now we have to figure out where we're going to get water and food and yeah. power because we need to charge a Blue Yeti. I'm looking forward to getting our solar panel back and then we'll have unlimited power. Yes. Guys, we're still alive. We made it into Alice Springs and back. You'd be happy to know that we've got stocked up with food and water. Mm -hmm. And we are staying at a campsite tonight just outside of Alice Springs. And I think here we're just going to decompress because the last couple of days have been a lot. I definitely didn't expect to drive for 10 hours today. That's right, we clocked 10 hours of driving. And significant amount of it on that unsealed gnarly road from hell. So needless to say, we just need to relax, man. It's been a crazy journey to, to get this van up this far. Mm -hmm. We are so chuffed that we've done it. Yeah. And even throughout all our hardships that we've had so far, I still wouldn't take them back. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> well, the camels made it all worthwhile. The camels, this the camels made it worthwhile. Mm -hmm. We're going to stay at this campsite for a couple of days. We're going to get an, a video edited. Mm -hmm. We're going to get our batteries charged up, everything mm -hmm. charged up. And then we're going to make decisions about what we're doing about the fact that we have no solar panels on our roof anymore. And what we're doing about the fact that there's apparently a cyclone coming our way up north and decide what's happening on this journey right now. Yeah, we have to have a big talk, I think. Mm -hmm. Let me go to sleep so I can hurry up and wake up and eat food. <laughs> Good night, guys. Yo, yo. How was the toilet? The showers? I mean, having a toilet is just next level. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought those words would ever come out of my mouth? <laughs> I'm so grateful for the porcelain throne. Last night we had the most magical experience with rock wallabies coming down off the mountains and Philly got out big boy lens and I'm just going to insert some very very beautiful videos now while we drive to the creek because it was beautiful. Hey buddy. Good morning guys. Yes, you heard me right. It's morning. We left you yesterday going to this creek, but when we got here, all our tech was overheating, our camera was overheating, so we decided to have a technology-free day. So we ended up just swimming a lot. So it was 43 degrees yesterday, and even though in Cooper PD it was 47, there was just like zero wind, so it literally felt like you're in a sauna. It was that kind of smothering heat that you could barely breathe. Are you okay? Not really. <laughs> you don't look like you're in a good mood. It was so relentlessly hot. It was just so unforgiving, guys. Like, I was having heart palpitations. I was like, I feel like I'm fainting, but I'm lying down. It's being quite dramatic. 
but I was literally like... I mean, if you're having heart palpitations, I don't think that's dramatic. <laughs> yeah, I was honestly, I was like, Philly, something's wrong with me. Like, I can really see how your body would just like shut down because mine was just not coping at all. Let's go for a swim. Let's wake up our bodies. Stay safe. How incredible is this place? I'm going to be completely honest. I think this is one of my favorite spots in Australia so far. <laughs> it's been so quiet here. And just, yeah, having the water to, to cool yourself down, it's just epic. Now, yeah, it does look a bit murky, but I promise you it feels great. Any last words? You never regret swimming. I'm going to have to say, guys, you know, <laughs> go, buy, go buy the sticker link here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so graceful. Ooh. Oh, it just feels so good, doesn't it? It was incredible. Literally, wild swimming is the best thing for your soul. <laughs> this feels so good, <laughs> honestly. See, when you're outside, you feel like you're suffocating. As soon as you get in the water, life so, comes back into your body. So good. All is right with the world. <laughs> My swan is the water. That was glorious and a workout all at once. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. So good. Oh, where's the ground? Welcome back. I cannot name a better feeling. I'm all sleeping and eating, but I think water even tops them. That euphoria is just, I love it. I love it. <sighs> Good morning, guys. I'm on my own this morning. Keely is still asleep. So we stayed in the hotel room last night for a couple of different reasons. One, because of the extreme heat. I don't know if you know, but it's been like over 40 degrees every day for the past week. Two is for the internet. As a lot of you know, Kaylee does tuition. She's been teaching on UK time zones, so she has to get up at like 3 and 4 a.m. in the morning, which is crazy. And three is because we have a pretty exciting adventure plan, and we have to leave from this town, but I'll wait until Kaylee's awake so she can tell you. Time to repack this van. How can two people live in like this smallest space? Have so much dang stuff. Whew. Okay, so now I have to figure out a way to wake the sleeping beast. If we all know Kaylee, which we do, there's only one thing that can wake her up. In a good mood, I might add. I thought I smelled coffee. In your dream? <sighs> What's Morning? this magic, Philly? This makes waking up so <laughs> much better. <laughs> Got everything, got everything, double checking, triple checking. Bye hotel. Okay guys, so if the title, thumbnail, and the introduction that I did haven't given it away, <laughs> we are indeed going to pick up a four by four with the plans to drive it to the geographical center of Australia. And I'll explain to you how we're managing to do that for only $1 a day. But before that, we need to actually go get some groceries, stock up this van, pick up the other van. So because we're gonna have two vans, that means you're gonna be driving? Right? When? Oh! Oh! Already? Well, let's see. Let's see your skills. Oh no, not now. Not in Alice Keely? Springs. I'm sorry. No. It's, no. no. On the short highway, fine. Now it's a straight road. Now is the time. Philly, Philly Keely, there's roundabouts. Is Philly. The time. I'll be with you every step of the way. I'm scared. I know. Uh, right, okay. No, Philly, this is a really bad idea. Alice Springs is not the place to drive this van for the first time. Yeah, it is. It's chaos. I'm going to run someone over. Here she is, my driver. <laughs> my life is in your hands. Right, you got it. Turn the key. That's it. Give her a wee get it. There, there you go. There you go. So just make sure there's nothing coming and reverse out. Did you just keep my nose right? Your nose is good. Yeah, you're fine. Should I be doing like a full turn? Are you sure my nose is right? Yeah, you're, you're fine. Very small nose. Yeah, there's no, there is no bonnet in this thing. 
I'm probably gonna run back more, but I got stressed. Well, this yeah. is a nice and turn in circle. Doesn't it? And you're going out this way. Just be careful. Am I on the right side of the road? You're on the left side of the road. So uh, this is the correct side. Okay, there's a bit of a ramp here. Yeah, I can see the ramp. And then a ramp down onto the road as well. And which okay. way am I going? So you're going right. Kelly, you're a wizard. You're natural. No, I know I am a good driver, but I just don't know about this If I do say so situation. myself. <laughs> I do love driving. Okay, where now? Okay, so now you're going left. Guys, welcome to Alice Springs. City of Dreams. <laughs> oh, this drive's lovely. I can see why you really enjoyed driving this when we were first trying it out. Isn't it good? Yeah. Okay, let's not run anyone over. You wave them? No, you wave. Yeah. Oh, right. You need to give people direction. <laughs> Yeah, this is the thing about Alice Springs. It's just a lot of people wandering around. Yeah. That's why it's stressful. Like, you know, other tourists and stuff. Are, are you letting this lady across? Yeah, well, she looks like she wants to go across, so. Oh, oh she waved. I take it back, love. <laughs> right, where now? Straight over this roundabout. There's no one coming. There's no one coming. You're used to roundabouts. You're from Craigavon. I know. Oh, this van's lovely to drive. I feel much less nervous now. Yeah? Yeah. You did it. I did, dear. Well done. How was that? I think it's lovely to drive. Well done. Guys, okay. give us high fives down down below. That was that was awesome. That was fun. Time to get some supplies. Hi Gay. You driving? Again? Yeah. Okay. You need to get as much experience as you can <laughs> in the next ten minutes. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna go left or right. Look at your map. Oh, right. Oh, I'm responsible for also being the map reader. It's a bit much. Welcome to adulthood. Very good, very good. Keely, I'm impressed. Thanks, honey. Guys, that is it. That is it. Okay, so this could either go right and be really awesome, or go wrong and be really miserable. Billy, Billy, I think that might be the truck we're taking. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm also really confused where we sleep because it looks like it's this size. <laughs> and these are um, well, new designs that have just come out this year, so. I'm legit so excited. Yeah, no, <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, guys, so just quickly, I checked the little booklet thing, and indeed, you have to pop this roof up to get access to your bed. So we don't actually have to squeeze into one foot. This actually pops up. But we'll do that later right now. Let's just go inside and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Wow. Like I wasn't expecting a double seat. I don't know what I was expecting. Also, does this lift up to be a table? Oh my gosh, we get towels. We got lights. Oh, imagine having a breeze through. And the door, we're gonna have the door open with a fly net. And it's only $1 a day, but we only have four days to get it to Adelaide. And it's going to take us two days to get to the centre of Australia. So we've got to make a move. Yeah. First thing we need to do is top up Dingo with gas because Alice Springs is the only place that we can do that for a long time. And then we're going to leave Dingo at a campsite where we're going to take this bad boy into the centre of Australia. The problem is that, that campsite is three hour drive away so we got to cover some serious ground right now. How do you start this thing? There's a button. I'm in park so this is automatic. Okay, start. Incredible, incredible. What did I do to deserve this for one dollar a day? Right, hurry up. You ready? I'm ready. Off he goes. This thing is a beast. I never found it hard to stick to the speed limits. Doing 60 feels like you're doing like 20. I love driving. Driving thing is fun. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. Okay, now your next task is to uh, fill up. You, yes, you are. No, yes, I know. Keely. I'm literally not. You, yes, you I'm are. Literally you not. are. I'm literally yes, not. Yes, you are. No, I'm telling yeah, you right nope, now. I'm literally yeah, not. Yes, you are. So if I break it, I'm this is you. all your fault. Okay. You accept 100% yes, liability. 100%. And you never get to bring it up ever. Yeah, promise. Right. Can't believe Keely broke the LPG pump. <laughs> I'm off to a rough start here. Not working. Hold it. Hold it in. So it's just not working. What?
Have a good day. Bye. Yes. One for the road? Yes. I'm also opening our walkie talkies. <laughs> okay. What, so what button do I press? Come in, Sleeping Beast. Is that Sleeping Beast? What, what did you press to make that happen? Come in, Sleeping Beast. Sleeping Beast at your service? <laughs> oh. All right, guys, we've got gas. We've got our walkie talkies. I've got my Bundaberg. You've got your Bundaberg. <laughs> with a three hour drive just to the campsite where we're leaving Dingo. And then we have another like two hour drive to the center of Australia. So we have a lot to do today. It's definitely more than the two hour drive. It's gonna be like a five hour off road drive. But guys, this is only one half of the challenge, but one step at a time. Oh, I need to take my massive bunch of keys. <laughs> love you. I love you too. Drive safe. Um, I'll come up with a code name for you. Okay, okay you, you're following me? Yeah. Cool. Hello, hello. <laughs> Random words. <laughs> yeah. I, what are the words you say in a walkie-talkie? Uh, Roger Breaker over Kevin. I decided watching you walk over there with your blonde locks flowing that I'm going to call you Simba. Okay, if we're going for Lion King then I guess you're Pimba. <laughs> okay, Simba over and out, let's go. Guys, I just have to say, how exciting is this? This is the beginning of our journey to the very centre of Australia. I'm buzzed. I just know that Keely is so damn excited to be driving the van. She loves driving. A lot of you guys know that Keely has had epilepsy from she was a teenager. So it actually prevented her from driving for 10 years pretty much. So super happy that she gets to do a big long drive. Guys, I freaking love driving. This is sick. Fun fact guys, maybe not fun, but it's a fact anyway. I've had epilepsy ever since I was a teenager, which means I couldn't drive. And years and years of trying different medications and everything. And once I was clear for 10 months, and I was like so excited, I was like, oh my word, like I might actually get clear for a full year. And it was my 21st birthday and I had a seizure that night. And I was like, oh, I'm not clear. Anyway, fast forward a couple of years, I was finally clear for a year. I got my license and every single day that I'm able to drive, I'm grateful. I'm grateful because I didn't know if I'd ever be able to drive. I'm so grateful for the freedom that it brings. I'm just so grateful that my epilepsy is under control to the point where I can drive. And I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful to be in a little van that we built, driving to the center of the Australia in the outback. Like, I'm driving to the Australian outback in a van I built. You, you couldn't have told 16 year old Keely that. All right, guys, we just made it out of Alice. We have just over 270 kilometers to drive today. And that's just the first part. So we better knuckle in. Uh, road trip is coming. Guys, I just figured out how to put it on cruise control. No feet, no hands. Am I joking? I'm hungry. I guarantee you that Keely has waffled so much to the camera. We're gonna have so much footage to go through. We're over 50 kilometers now. I'm loving it. And we've come across a couple of road trains and so far they've been like a super chill chill. Pulling to a rest stop because Keely's came up with the lame excuse that her her camera battery has run out. But I guarantee you, she is just hungry. And I'm gonna want to try and make food. Whew. Look at yonder tree. Oh yeah, I just gotta park in the shade. You know, give myself a chance. I'm absolutely busting for the toilet, so this was well timed. And I'm gonna be honest, um, I'm hungry. <laughs> so. Are you never sad? <laughs> So I guess we're going to get some food. Yes, yes. And then we've got a lot of driving to do. So while Kaylee makes food, I'm going to try and save us some time when we stop and transfer as much stuff that we need in this van for tonight. Check this out. 
they left the fridge on for us so it's nice and cold we've got everything we need pots and pans we have a stove all our cutlery a toaster kettle what is this all right guys back in the road we got to eat and run. I honestly love vegetables so much. Let's do this! Go, 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 Simba! Hey, diesel pump, I need you. We made it. Okay, so we have made it to a place called Kilgara, which is where we're filling up diesel for that van, filling up LPG for Dingo, and ultimately leaving him at the campsite. Um, a fun fact, when we were here on our way up, we realized that this place has a population of 12 people. 12 humans live in this town. And apparently most of them live here at this road house. So fingers crossed, Dingo will be nice and safe here. And uh, guys, very, very soon, once we've stocked everything and I've got a drink, we're making our journey to the center. This is gonna be expensive. Okay guys, so um, that cost us $200. So that's one thing to factor in, the fact that now we're not only doubling the vehicles so the fuel but also diesel is a lot more expensive than LPG so um, that's a lot of money <laughs> you ready I'm ready this is where the adventure begins yeah <laughs> I'm excited be safe Dingo we love you Born ready. Are you ready to experience the luxury of the four wheel drive? That is a Toyota Hilux. Okay, let's go. So, up until this point, we haven't strayed too far away from the Stuart Highway, which is the main road that runs through the centre of Australia. You know, apart from that time we went in the 200km on scene road backs in for two days? <laughs> yeah, apart from that time. <laughs> but this strays pretty far off and it turns into a four wheel drive. So, we're going to push this thing to its limits and hopefully we'll make it out alive. Definitely was a bit nervous, but I'm also just intrigued to purse a 4x4. I've never driven 4x4 before, so I think this is 4x4 before. 4x4 before. So I think this is very, uh, like, an awesome experience, you yeah. know? And I'm not that nervous at all. I'm more excited, I think. Yeah, I'm excited that I might see a dingo. And we did absolutely no research while we had internet back there. I was planning to look up loads of stuff, haven't looked up anything. We were absolutely winging this. Let's do it. Story of our life. on this road which I had read is that a lot of the times it gets flooded and stuff but as you know it's been a heat wave for quite a while here so thankfully all those flood plains are nice and dry but you can see how soft the sand is and how deep that water must go that is very sandy I'm getting out I'm gonna witness you master this look how deep my feet are sinking into that like absolutely nothing well 
You breezed through that like it was absolutely nothing. <laughs> Effortless. That was like <laughs> butter. <laughs> Amazing. There's a car coming on this road. Our first car. Friends. I have a feeling that it's going to get a lot worse. Well, yeah, this is the two wheel drive part of the road. This isn't the yeah. four wheel drive part. This is the, this is the easy part. I am a, it's starting to get me a little bit apprehensive, but I'm pretty sure this baby can handle it. Yeah, for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. This road's getting flipping in. We're still on the two wheel drive part, guys. I wonder what happened to him. That did not look like a four-wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we had to pull over because they had to get out and just take stock of where the heck we are right now. It's so quiet and it's so beautiful and deserted and rugged, it's crazy. There's also, I'm walking on camel footprints, so there's definitely signs of camels around here. Oh my goodness, they are camel footprints. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we might see more camels. Oh my goodness, they're so excited. It's worse slow. When you go slow, it's worse. There it is. There you go. Lambert Centre, geographical centre of Australia. Four wheel drive only. <laughs> this is cool. This is pretty cool. I have to say, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. I've never driven four wheel drive before, so I feel like there's going to be a lot of backseat drivers. <laughs> but you know, let's just have fun with it. These vehicles are built for this reason, so. Let's see how easy it is to drive a four-wheel drive. Oh my God, I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, guys, no time like the present. Let's whip this thing into four-wheel drive and give this a go. This is pretty damn sketch. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while either. No snakes, no snakes. Oh, my flipping goodness. Look at that, this is a big verge. Guys, what the heck? What on earth? Am I a four wheel driver? No, what I'm, is happening? I've, I've definitely earned my Australian citizenship. <laughs> I've got the hat, I've got the ute. <laughs> I'm here, man, I'm here for it. Guys, we're driving to the geographical center of Australia. <laughs> to and it's a random four wheel drive thing that we picked up. Oh, oh Keely. Uh oh. Is that a tree? That is a tree. Oh no. Yeah well people look like they avoid that tree and go up there. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Do you think you could get up this bit? Do you want to try? Yeah. Okay. Man this is so soft. I'm definitely a little bit scared. If that town only has a population of 12, <laughs> it's a very low chance of seeing other people down here. This is crazy. Yeah. This is crazy. Why do I let you talk me into these things? I don't know. But it's okay, guys. We got a first aid kit, just in case, and an emergency GPS signal personal locator thing. So we're, we're covered. Breezing through it, guys. Friggin' breezing through it. Four wheel drive is so fun. This feels very special. This feels very special. Wow. Tell you what, there's a friggin' workout in this soft sand. Well, I think it's safe to say that we're not turning back. <laughs> this is probably one of the craziest and stupidest things I've ever done. Okay, let's go, go, yeah. Oh my goodness, we went so sideways. Oh my goodness, we went so sideways. <laughs> Billy, we're going sideways. Whoa! <laughs> this is flipping nuts. What are we doing? Oh my goodness. Please don't get any worse. Whoa, this, I'm drifting here. I'm going everywhere. 
Oh, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> oh, if we get there in one piece, it's going to be so worth it, right? Yes. 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 Oh, I, I just hope that we can get back up the road, okay? Yeah. I'm going yeah. to rest in the back. Yeah, we got down it, so we'll be able to get back up it. Yeah. Again, we're sideways. <laughs> Champion. I feel like I'm driving down a riverbed. Champion, it feels like it. Oof. Okay guys, I'm not seeing any actual animals, but I've seen kangaroo poop. I've seen camel footprints. I've seen, well actually I've seen that weird giant fat goose thing. But there are animals here. Oof. We just need them to come out and we need to not get stuck in the sand. Which Can we won't. Feel that? Oh I feel it. Oh, oh. I feel ah. it. <laughs> My question is, if this is four wheel drive, what the hell is this turn to the left going to be? Oh dear goodness. What's, the, what's this left turn bringing us on to? That way? I would go to the left. Me personally, but I trust you. Uh, I might go run and check and see. This van is made for this stuff, remember? <laughs> I remember. Yeah, this is all really hard, so it should be fine. Oh god, we're such idiots. This is ridiculous. This is so stupid. What are we doing? Let us know in the comments, would you do something like this? <laughs> get a camper van for a dollar a day and then bring it down the weirdest track ever. I just can't wait till we get there and I can eat. <laughs> I mean, like, life's an adventure, right? It is. It is that. We're not going to remember the times where, oh, we parked up at the beach. We're going to remember the times we took a four-wheel drive into the centre of Australia. <laughs> we got stopped by a fat goose. <laughs> oh, man. Providing we get back to Dingo safe and sound, this could have been a really fun adventure. <laughs> this this is a really fun adventure. So far I'm pretty good, but I'm just like just slightly apprehensive. But yeah. you know, I'm gonna keep the positive vibes. We got this. Yes. It's friggin' awesome. This is up there. This is right up there with like taking that van having to the baby, having our first child. No, I was gonna say taking the van to the very north of Japan. Yeah. This is this is up there with that. <laughs> both it's the complete opposite terrain. But both equally ridiculous and no idea how we pulled either off. I'm speaking positively because we're gonna pull this off. Yeah, guys, I'll be honest, I had no idea what I was getting us into. <laughs> this is insane. This is absolutely nuts. Like, this is the Australian outback. Oh, yeah, you can't get much more outback than the center of Australia. Yeah, like, this is so ridiculous. So special. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get there for sunset. Okay, only 500 meters. I'm hoping there's a sign or something to show that we've actually got there. I don't know if the road just keeps going. 500 meters, see in half an hour. <laughs> Whoa. That, that totem thing, that's it. That's it? That's it. There's nobody else here. Oh, I wonder me. <laughs> what the flip? Oh, Philly, I've just got really emotional all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. We made it. Did you have any doubt? It's us. We have a bad track record. We are... <laughs> We're at the center. The very center of this ridiculously huge remote country. <laughs> We're like right back <laughs> in the middle of it. What are we doing? <sighs> this is incredible. <laughs> this is absolutely nuts. <laughs> This is nuts. Guys, this is it. This is the geographical center of Australia. We're in the center, like right now. Like, Woo! zoom out to where we are right now. <laughs> this is so freaking weird. How do we get here, man? This is crazy. This I love is it. so, so surreal. And there's so many flags. <laughs> I think they need to replace their flag, though. Guys, so we're going to actually 
go to sleep underneath the stars. Oh, and it's a half moon in the very center of a street. Like, I can't wait to make dinner here. I can't wait to try and figure out how the hell we work this van and open that bed. Basically, I'm just so excited and hyper and um, I really need to pee, so I'm excited. Guys, there's footprints of some weird wild animal. <laughs> oh, I found her. So we're gonna make some food. Keely asked me, what do we want? Do we want like some Australian staple in the outback? So I said, yes, let's make a curry. If we've come out all the way here and I don't see a bloody animal, I'm gonna be gutted. I'm an animal. You are. What a beast. What a beast. What a beast. And this guy too. Oh, do you have a table? Did we bring our table? No. So how do I cook? What's this? Is this a table? <laughs> oh God. That's a pantry, that's your gas. So where's the table to set this on? There's no table. Was this your idea of a first aid kit? It's okay guys, we'll manage it in the middle of nowhere because we've got four plasters. <laughs> That'll save us from everything. Here's your table. I'm, I'm assuming that I just... like them things. Yeah. Guys, look at that friggin' sky. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Right, are you going to stay out here? Yeah. I have no idea how this works, so fingers crossed. I believe. Well, there you go. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Check it out, guys. It looks like there's a visitor's book. Might be spiders in here, but. Oh my goodness, are we going to ride in it? You want to? Yes, I you can take it out. Oh my goodness, Philly! This is so exciting. Do you want to read? Read, read somebody's name. Okay. Wow. The loneliest flagpole. This is so beautiful. Look at all these names. So many people have made this journey. This is so cool. Okay, let me choose someone. Evie and Bruce Phillips from Victoria. Jared Menge from Alice Springs. The Dex family. They were here last week. Oh, the dicks. <laughs> Gotta love the dicks. New flag needed. There you go. Gerald McDanagy had the same thought you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. This is pretty cool. This is such a big space as well. Thankfully, the guys gave us some bedding as well, which is cool. We've got a sheet, a duvet, and some pillows. This bed is huge. <laughs> no way. Well, this just completely changes the space. Check this out. So obviously that road was very bumpy and it knocked over stuff in the fridge and there's an entire tub of hummus all over everything. Oh no. Like it's just a fridge full of hummus. <laughs> So um, um, we need to find a way to scoop the hummus back in because I can't lose that in my hummus. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's none left in the tub. What happened? Oh my goodness, we went so sideways. A baby's vomited in her fridge. You know what? I'm not even mad. If this is the only thing that goes wrong in our whole time here, then I'll be completely happy with that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna deal with this hummus and leave you in Keely's capable hands, cooking our curry. Okay, I have no idea how to use this hob, but let's give it a go. I'm covered in hummus. <laughs> this is different than ours. Let's get it. And then is it just like hang down? Um, I don't think it's meant to hang down. Yeah. Meant to hang up? <laughs> yeah, like that. Well done. Guys, this might take a while. So I'm just gonna put you on a pan. <laughs> Guys, I'm hungry, right, okay? So. I'm hungry. It's gonna take a while. I'm gonna put you on a time lapse. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Watch this, Bernie. That looks fabulous. Okay. Welcome. Wow, the bed's huge. Isn't it? Sleep with ten other people in this. Is that an invitation? This is ridiculously big for this van. Guys, I think this is the most remote place we've ever been. May ever be. Yeah. 
it just feels so surreal to be here and it's such a beautiful night. Guys, put little van emojis by the way as a congratulations to Philly for his epic four wheel drive experience because Aww, thank you. I was very impressed with your skills. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, we're going to go inside away from the mosquitoes yeah. and check out these sleeping arrangements. This bed is hard. Let's get some coffee. Yes. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, make us coffee. <laughs> Let us know when it's done. Rock, paper, scissors, shake. <laughs> <laughs> no! Because I was going to go, because I was like, he's going to think I go for paper, which means I'd go for scissors, which means he's going to go for scissors. I don't need I, don't I, need, know I do not need a full analysis. <laughs> it's not. It's not that complicated. Good morning, Australia! Man, it's bright. It's a very sunny day. Ow. My eyes have not adjusted. Okay guys, so um, I've managed to convince Philly that I want to have a shower. <laughs> Not because I want to have a shower. Well, I do. I forgot to have a shower in the hotel. But more because, how many people can say that this stood naked at the very centre of Australia? I know, you don't have the shower at the best of times, never mind in the centre of Australia, Look, in a bag. When she showed me that it came with the shower, I was like, I feel like we kind of need to do it. We're utilising everything yeah. this van has to offer. It's four by four, it's shower bag. <laughs> I'm not going to use it anywhere where there's people, but here, guys, no one's coming here. They would have had to leave at 5 a.m. to make it here, so I'm going to take advantage. Julie just wants to have a shower here because she can do it in the nude yes. and feel at one with the earth. Yes. Here you go, this is it. Um, push. There you go, yay! <laughs> okay. Get your shower, Keely. Don't waste it. <laughs> Look, guys even provided us with towels. It's like they're literally telling me to get naked in the Australian Outback. You don't have to tell me twice. Oh, hello, are you coming to me? It's cold. And this is going to be the most unattractive video you watch. <laughs> so there you go, guys. We stood naked at the centre of Australia and it felt incredible. So this is only the start of this journey, but before I get into that, we need to get this van back out onto that main road and back to Dingo which is like a three hour drive so we gotta make some tracks. Is it too early for a four wheel drive? The sooner we do it the sooner I can have breakfast. <laughs> that is true. We did it! We did it! We conquered the Outback! Woo! <laughs> oh, that's amazing, isn't it? That feels great! It really does. Guys, I just hopped out to snap a branch so that we wouldn't mark the van. And look at these footprints! That is a huge animal. Look at them. What is that? But guys, there's so many animal prints and we haven't seen any. <laughs> Alright, we need to stop stopping every 100 meters because we see an animal footprint. <laughs> it's funny how confident you can get on this four wheel drive. Any of you guys from Northern Ireland, if you've ever went to Todd's Leap, they do a four wheel drive driving experience. That is something else. <laughs> they take it, they just turn up rivers and are just like up over everything. So that's what I have in the back of my mind when I'm driving this. I'm like, this is capable of so much more than this. <laughs>
Is that fun? That's really, I'm dry, I'm, it's a four wheel drive, you know, we gotta do stuff like this. <laughs> oh, this is sliding. Oh, this is where I go left. I really hope Apollo don't watch this video. I don't know if we're meant to do this in their camper vans. There you go, did you enjoy that? Fun. Just like that, it's over. We're not back in the main road, are we? Yeah. What? That was so quick. Okay, oh, whoa, we're sliding. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's so funny, as soon as you have a fraction of confidence, you just blast it. That took like a third of the time. That's nuts. Do you know what's even more nuts, guys? Not a single wild animal. You know what's even more nuts, guys? This hat. Like, there were fresh tracks over the top of our tire tracks, which means they're literally here and they're just hiding from us. Yeah, this, they, they can smell you coming. Got it. Guys, we did it. We smashed it. That was buns. That was easy. Wow. That was really good fun. So we've got an hour and a half to go on this road. So it'll probably take us about two hours because it is uh, a dodgy road. Do you have oh, cowboy. There you go. Back to uh. civilization. Back on track. Ready for breakfast. I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> that was three hours, guys. And now our next leg of this journey is a five hour drive. Well, let's get, let's get breakfast before we even think about the next part of our journey. Before we do anything, we need to check and see if Dingo's still there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That, that's been on my mind. I, I see him. Yeah. He's there. He's alive. He's alive. That's good. We made it. So we're going to have to go and get all of this clean before we hand this back over. I'm sure you guys are happy to see that we left Dingo nice and tidy, as usual. Okay guys, so for breakfast this morning, I'm having beans, obviously, with kale, tofu with kale, some olive loaf, some avocado, and uh, I'm just gonna annihilate this. And probably a massive blob of hummus. Obviously, fridge hummus. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, you're just gonna have to ignore my hat because the sun is very strong and I have to cover up. The reason that we have been able to get this van and take it to the very center of Australia for only $2 is actually because they need it relocated all the way from Alice Springs right down to Adelaide for $1 a day in four days, which means we have about 36 hours to take these two vans the rest of the 1500 kilometer journey down to Adelaide. Let's go. Oh guys. See when I can see the hat, I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it. Biggest thing you need to survive the outback, apart from numerous things like water, you need SPF lip balm. Your lips get so dry here. Yes. All right, first up, diesel. Yes, diesel and LPG, please. Let's do it. Oof, it is hot in here. Whoa, you're already doing it. I'm trying to see if I can get it to work by myself. You crazy mofo. Just squeeze it and hold it. Oh, yes. Sometimes, yes. Oh, oh, there's a little bit of an extra squeeze right at the end. All right, guys. The vans have been filled. Four hours, 12 minutes. Let's do this. They didn't have fancy Bundaberg, so I've got Ooh. you a vitamin water. A vitamin water? <laughs> How health conscious of you. I love you. Love you too. Anywhere. Enjoy the bag. You too. Well, you got yourself a bundy. There's only one. Oh. Only one. You don't like ginger beer. No. Shut up. AC on. Let me know when you're ready, Pimba. Almost just get my numerous beverages in their city. So guys, this journey from Alice to Adelaide is monstrous. It's over 1,500 kilometers of just highway. And then we decided it would be a great idea to throw in a four wheel drive experience on top of that. What are we doing? Is this like a one way road? I'm confused why we're on this side. Um, thanks. That's good observation. I was just keeping on your toes. <laughs> There's the sign, the border sign that we passed. Welcome to South Australia. Woo. We've got like 16 hours of driving to do in the next two days. 16! 
Guys, our entire time in Northern Territory, we've seen zero roadkill. We're back in SA for 10 minutes and I've already seen five dead kangaroos. All right, we're halfway there. It's just after 4 p.m. It's definitely good to our destination before dusk. And that's the plan. Another two hours in. 269 kilometers done. I'm doing so good. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I'm really enjoying driving. You're Ringo. so tanned. Yeah, it's this color just really pops it, you know. And uh, yeah, that time like flew by because we put on a Casey Nightstop podcast and uh, it was good. More podcasts? Yeah. Still rocking this hat. It gives me the superpower to drive for days. And there's nobody else on the road apart from like the odd road train. Like, look at this. It's just vast nothingness. Are, are we ready to go? Back in the road? Yeah. So it's an hour and a half until we get diesel and gas refill, mm -hmm. and then we gotta find somewhere to stay. It's super easy to know that we're coming into Kirkapini because it's just surrounded by dirt piles from all the opal mining. Guys, I am so close to running out of fuel, it's not even funny. I've just seen a sign saying Cooper PD 5k and I have 26k left in the tank. That is too close for comfort. We made it. That was a pretty brutal drive, well done. Thank you, thank you. Billy, I look about 60. Because you have to concentrate so much? I look about 60. So my van says that I'm down to 24 kilometer range, running on fumes. That's not twice so little. I don't know. This is empty, your gas tank's empty. It's gonna be. <laughs> this trip was not $2. I know. <laughs> so you're 16 and number five Definitely one downside of having two vans is that you've got two fuel bills to pay. I think I look forward to getting one van again. But for now, we've got a rest spot just down the road like five minutes, so we're gonna go to that. And get an early night because this has been very tiring. Goodbye, Cooper Pete, you have been wonderful. Guys, we made it to our park up. We made it, we, we completely crushed that journey. We're making such good progress and we made it here just in time for what looks like is going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal, a phenomenal, a phenomenal, a ph I can't even say it. Uh, I need to know guys, how many of you out there take about 50 billion times to choose where you want to park? Keely, it was literally 45 seconds. Yeah, but it was like, I just need to know if this is a thing. You need the perfect park up. But the thing is, you don't think about, okay, if somebody's going to come off the road to break into my van, then where is the best spot that I can okay. be for? Blah, blah. The point is... No, I, I mean, you don't think about that. <laughs> I want... You don't think about that. Everybody. You don't think about, okay, where, when where we can go, I make the cleanest even getaway? When we go, even when we go to a shop, a Coles, you will drive around looking for the park. I need to know, out there, everybody now watching this. That's because you, no, have, you have to think about care. the person who's parking I'm next okay. to you. Oh my gosh, and I just need to know that other people do this. Both now, are you a first time and that's where you park, you're committed? Or do you like need to really make sure you've got the perfect park? I need to understand if perfect this park, is... Perfect park, man. I need Always a perfect park. You're so annoying. But you know, this this tells a lot about your personalities. You know, you're just like guns blazing. I'm, all, I'm all in. Go. I'm all in. Yeah, exactly. No thought. Well, I need to know if other people have no thought, and if you're the weirdo, or if I'm the weirdo. That's what I'm saying. For example, I asked you to turn the van so the door was pointed this way. Me? You told me to drive in there. Excuse me, exactly. I meant like I, I not you were here. I meant you were free to turn and drive in here that no, way. You were pointing that way. You said drive in that side. I meant so that you, I, I meant no. I meant for you to drive in here so that our doors were beside each other. No, because you always said drive in and reverse, and so drive means I'm putting my nose in. So yeah. You yeah, and then, and then for you to drive in and drive up around that side. Yeah, so that was a miscommunication on your part. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and turn your van. I'm not turning it. What do you mean? I'm making food, you can turn it. All right, guys, we are having curry leftovers with a twist tonight. We're putting them in wraps with hummus. Surprise, surprise. Leftover curry wraps, the Outback favorite. Guys, I know um, you haven't seen the inside, 
how it pops up, so come with me. It's the easiest thing ever. And yes, we're sleeping in this van tonight because it's just more spacious, so we're just gonna make use of it as we can. <laughs> that Boom. looks easy. But anyway, we've only got one minute left on our memory card, so I guess we'll see you guys in the morning. One last thing, look how cool it is. We can see the sunset from our prison window. Good morning guys. We are already up. We've had our breakfast. Keely's just finishing off doing some work and then we got to go. Guys, the biggest downfall of this van is this door. It doesn't have anywhere to hook onto, so it just flows in the wind and creaks a lot. I think, no, I'm literally, literally living in a horror movie. Stop it. I'm literally living in a horror movie. I'm very close to snapping that door off. Stop it. <laughs> I'm going crazy. This is like torture. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> I made a very, very basic pasta and sweet corn to pesto. <laughs> pesto, pasta, sweet corn. That's for the road. I have to do these dishes now, and Keely's finishing doing some work. Uh -huh. Hey. Okay, bye. Shut the really annoying door. <laughs> okay. I might as well give you a little tour of this thing. So this is our first time actually using the pop top and I 100% recommend. It's really cool just to give you that extra space. This is the outdoor kitchen. I only realized this morning that there's lights on this. You've got your fridge and then all of your kitchen stuff and storage. Uh, my only downfall is that there's no pull out table here to cook on, like that would be really good. You've got some other storage down here, spare diesel tanks, which is good more storage here and then these are all just storage as well let me see i'll show you and then you can lock them which is good too charging ports that's another storage thing and in here is the electric setup this is the water tank and then this is the AGM battery it's a 100 amp hour AGM battery and then i think there's like an inverter and a solar controller maybe up there i can't really see oh yeah and you can have a shower outside and that feeds from the the water tank from in there cool man and thus concludes the two minute tour. It's like 11 o'clock now. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't think we had like numerous hours of driving ahead of us. Let's go. Yeah. Time to start the next leg of this exceptionally long journey. We're a few hours behind today which means we got a lot of ground to cover and I've only had one coffee today. All right guys, so we're 355Ks to go. And it's funny when I look at the sat nav, you can see that it's just 355K on a straight road, no turn off whatsoever. Guys, I just spent the last five minutes tooting up Philly. He couldn't hear me cause we're on the highway. He'd been driving with the roof up. For all we know, that's going to rip off. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Guys, that could have been a bloody disaster. That could have been... That could have been bad. That's all we need, guys, ripping off the roof. Definitely not get our money back. All right, guys, we had a, a little mishap. What actually happened was I popped the roof down, and as I came out, Keely had washed her shorts and was looking at me to wring them out because I'm stronger than her. And I totally forgot to clip it down. Back on the long, straight, laborious roads. So the speed limit out here is 110 kilometers per hour. It just feels so slow when you're on this straight road with like no end in sight. And anybody that does come up behind us just overtakes us at like 140, 150. Like this guy. And this one, and also this guy. But we're gonna stay at the speed limit because I'm sure there's a tracker on this vehicle and it'll tell me if I break the speed limit. It's working. Why couldn't it all be like this? All right guys, we have made it to Spud Roadhouse. We've filled up both of the vans and now we're gonna get some food. 
That was a tough stint, I thought. I'm so tired and hungry, man. It was three and a half hours, but it felt like about six. When we were coming in there, I was like 28 minutes. I looked at it again, 25 minutes. I looked at it again, 22. <laughs> now, like those three minute intervals, I kept being like, I'm bound to be nearly there. I was like three minutes, three, oh my goodness. I feel like I'm purgatory. And we have at least that again to go. I don't know if that's gonna bring us close enough to Adelaide, so we might have to push it further. All right, guys, we've got these coffees and then we've got some pasta. We're just gonna put that in the pasta and that'll hopefully do it. Nom nom nom. Of course with the blob of hummus. Obviously. Simba, do you read me? I read you, Simba. Loud and clear. <laughs> so how, how many kilometers from Singapore we're stopping? Do you know? I've no idea. We've no internet and my maps decided to close itself. So no idea. Alright guys, 75 kilometers to go and then we can park up for tonight. We're absolutely smashing this. So this means that we have a three hour drive to where we have to drop this van off tomorrow. So it's going to be an early start. We might actually have to get up for sunrise. Not sure if you can tell guys, but it's pretty dark. That was a colossal day of driving. As you can see, we drove into the dark, which probably wasn't a smart idea, but thankfully we didn't hit any kangaroos. Keely almost hit one, but we got here, we're safe and sound. We're still two hours and 55 minutes away from Adelaide. We have to return this thing at 10 a.m. in the morning, which means we're gonna have to get a really early start. It's 10 p.m. We're gonna go to- that's so, that's so late. Isn't it? That means the sun goes down really late. Anyway guys, we'll catch you in the morning. We're gonna go to sleep. Love See you bright and early, up at, up at sunrise. <laughs> Maybe just after sunrise. Okay. Good night guys. No, 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 I'm not decent. <laughs> I'm not decent. We gotta get up. I don't wanna, I don't wanna play. I think I slept well. Very tired. I'm tired too. I'm very tired. Did you hear the cuckoo birds all night? No. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee? Please, please. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Hello world! It's currently half six. We have to hit the road pretty soon. But we'll have to get coffee first and we're gonna empty the contents of this van into this van so we don't have to do it at the end. But we've got a three hour journey ahead of us and not a lot of time to do it. Look at this park up though. This is beautiful. I'm cold. I'm not cold but... Bit nippy. I know, right? Bit of a chill. I've been waiting for this moment for weeks. Not sure how I feel about it I'm here. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know, I've been stuck in plus 40 degree heat for the past three weeks. So this feels like bliss. I think they know. Where's the keys? That's, that's my testicles. <laughs> so I just read it. I thought you'd keys in your pocket. <laughs> Are there keys in your pocket? You just haven't seen me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave you guys here because <laughs> we have a lot of stuff to do to organise these vans. Uh, Are we ready to go? I know. Do this. Leave no trace. Do you need your plasters? 
we have to drop this thing off in three hours, 10 minutes. And this journey is two hours, 57 minutes. So we have 13 minutes and I need to stop and fill this with diesel because I have to leave it back full. So we have very little time. <laughs> I know I said we have no time to spare, but we've always got time to stop for a coffee. We were driving through this little town and there's this little quaint bakery. So it'd be rude not to. Plus this gives us fuel for the road. Now we've really got no time. Cup holder, cup holder here. Let's do it. All right guys, this is it. It's an emotional moment. It's our last diesel fill of the trip. We're just around the corner from the place that we have to pick this up and we've made a standing time. Philly, we're here. We are. I need to tell you how proud I am of Keely. Keely, we've done about over 20 hours of driving, it feels like, mm -hmm. in the last three days. Yeah. I drove Dingo through the Australian outback and now in the city. He absolutely smashed it. Diesel. Ah. Alright team, this is it. It's been an emotional journey. It honestly feels like we've had this for about a month, even though it's only been four days. But let's go return it. Let's go. Yeah, can you, I, I can't believe we've actually managed to get this thing back. Do you ever have any doubts? I don't have doubts in us, I have doubts in the universe. <laughs> now we just gotta hope that it only costs us $4. Time will tell, let's find out. Okay guys. So we've managed to get it here in time, but let's be honest, we all know what rental companies are like. They try to charge you for ridiculous stuff. So I'm intrigued to see how this goes and uh, fingers crossed, at the end of today, only $4 minus all the diesel money is out of our account. Now um, you guys were uh, in the four wheel drive, weren't you? Yeah. Um, what I've got to do, I've got to come outside, have a quick little check, make sure there's no damages or anything like that. Okay. Uh, so I'll do that. I'm surprised anyone was even open up at uh, Alice Springs at this time of year. Yeah, no, it was a miracle. I don't think we even opened the other side. Did we? Yeah. I wonder if they do like diagnostics or something on the system. Real customers that are paying full price at the moment for that type of vehicle can, can be up to about 400 bucks a day. Um, I've also just refunded 71 bucks because you had a deposit that you would have paid a, you probably paid $75 yeah. and you're only using $1 a day. So yeah. amazing, 71 bucks, it's all done. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Just gonna have to slide that seat right back. Yeah, does it go back any farther? <laughs> Look at the cut of this place. Do you have to clean up after yourself? <laughs> Look at the state of this. Is there a slob driving this van? What the hell? There was a slob indeed. Flipping heck. There's a pair of dirty pants sitting in the footwell. They're not dirty, they're, they're clean. Oh dear, flipping heck. Shout out to James who checked the van. Lovely guy. Mm -hmm. And we got a map for Air Peninsula, which is where we're going to be going next. So you're going to have to come back next week to see us chilling on a beach because we definitely just need some major recovery time. <laughs> yeah, this has been super intense. <laughs> But also super fun. Are you guys as surprised as we are that that all went smoothly? Like we got it to the outback, nothing wrong happened. Mm -hmm. We got it back. We got both of these vans. Like guys, this is not like us. Yeah, it's not. This almost went too smooth where it's like, I feel a bit confused. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on this adventure. Mm -hmm. And we're still alive. I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful for you. You absolutely smashed that for not having driven really that much in the past like decade. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm buzzing. Let's go take them to the beach. Let's go chill. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Love you guys. We'll see you next week. Love you guys. Bye. Go, go, go.